Welcome to the Nourishment Podcast. Be more burnt spoon, DC glass pipe, VA scent bells, about that trap life. Playing with the well, speakers. What did you do? You didn't do anything. Alright. Alright, cool, man. Look, we're recording this shit now, ain't we? Man, we actually been recording, right? Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Yo. That's not like that, uh, what's called Shelly Jones? Word. <laughs> um. Yeah. How everybody doing? Okay. Everybody cool? Everybody, everything cool for stay? I need to get rid of this fucking gun. Everybody cool. What you doing? Great. True that, true that, true, true that, that, that. Okay, little uh, trial call quest. Uh, one and two is uh-huh. in my hand. Uh-huh. 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 What y'all watching? Uh, food porn. <laughs> <laughs> food porn. Food fuck. Yeah, it was like pork and fuck. Oh yeah, it was the pork. Yeah, like, what? <laughs> uh, pork and fuck, man. Got the register like I was. Welcome just... to another installment of this illustrious podcast, the Norseman Podcast. I go by the name of Jordan. You do? You go by the name of Jordan? <laughs> We've had the story. Is... <laughs> you should have said I go by the name of Shawnee and just did yeah. it. Yeah, 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 you could have kept going. Doing, doing a routine. Yeah. You was doing good. You was, yeah, you was killing it. You was mad clear, no mic yeah. in your hand or nothing. She ain't had no damn mic, but she was killing that shit, though. I'm quite sure it picked up some of it, right? It picked up everything. Yeah. I heard it like she was I heard it, I heard it pretty clear. Yeah. Uh, welcome back to the, another storm of the Solution <laughs> Podcast, the Podcast. Talk about the name of Jordan. Uh, we got some, uh, some great people in here tonight, guys. Some great people in here tonight. Um, we got Desmond over here working on the ones and twos and shit. Yeah. You know, on his uh his right you got uh Calvin right there and shit. Yeah, you know, yeah chill, chilling, chilling, chilling. So uh, Calvin's far right. You got my fucking producer right there. She posted up chilling in the back. Hey yo. You know, gang gang. And then uh to her right, it's uh Shawnee. She over there rolling her eyes or whatever, little, little, <laughs> Hello. little allergy season or whatever. Um, how y'all doing out there tonight? Everything good, everything copacetic and shit. How was y'all week? Talk to me. Talk to me nice. Big lotto. So who wants to go first? That's not all the one wants. I guess I'll do it. Uh, my weekend was pretty decent outside of having to go to a funeral. That fucking sucks. But uh, everybody had a, uh, it wasn't really a repass, but you know, like because of COVID, everything is not the normal way. So mm-hmm. we just had to get together, had a cookout. Cookout was dope. Food was great. Man. That's what's up, man. Uh-uh. That was all I did. That's all you did. That's cool, man. Yeah, that's cool. I'll go after you. Um, I didn't do anything. That's it. That's all I got. Literally, I didn't do anything. I didn't do okay. anything. Um, I bought some new Crocs. Okay, yes. what color? They were tie dye. Shit's hard, man. I got some uh, some gibbets to go with them. Uh-huh. Is that what we can break them out? I'm uh, sorry, I didn't cut you off. Is that somebody's one. water right there? This one right here. Is that your water? Yeah. Okay. Right. right. Yeah. Yes, I'm like, <laughs> 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 so funny. <laughs> hey, yeah. No, no, I have some water around here somewhere. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. My dad said that's for white people. What's that, Crocs? Tie-dye. Why would he say that? I don't know. I had on some tie-dye socks. My socks I bought from the sneaker exhibit. Oh, okay. He said that that's just for white people. <laughs> <laughs> when did tie-dye become said, for white why people? Why would you say that? Okay. Everybody with it. It's white people. And I think she I said guess. she recommended some type of therapy also. No, that's his opinion. <laughs> He's entitled to it. Also. Tied to hard, man. Okay. Like, okay, it's, okay, uh, okay. the base of the crock is black, and then uh, the rest of it is, okay. like, some super cool colors, whatever. Put the crocs on it. I mean, uh, I ain't wearing them today. Put my gibbets and shit in it, you know. I'm gonna come through, don't worry. I'm gonna come through with them. Okay. That's all I did, yeah. man. Shout out to Columbia Mall. Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. No doubt. Right. I went to the same lot. I went to. Hey, man, niggas have a mask on. I like that. It's optional. Um, it's optional. It is. <laughs> it's like a mask. Wearing a mask. Go outside, though. I don't. I don't. Uh, I, I don't trust niggas, so. So then you better get masked. I would always have my mask on. Yes. Yeah. So. Fuck these niggas. I was sick of these niggas. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uncle Julio, shout out to Uncle Julio. Which one? Yeah, that's something she said. Uncle Julio's for real. <laughs> you said you said Uncle Julio's? Yeah, Uncle Julio. Oh, I thought you was joking when you said. Which which Uncle Julio would you go to? That shit called Uncle Julio. Ugh, that face. You you don't like the one in Columbia? Well, it's just not right. The one in Bethesda Road is fucking amazing. If you're ever right down in Bethesda. <laughs> Anybody else want to go? Anybody okay. else want to go? Out here and shit? I was in North Carolina. You was in North Carolina with this guy. <laughs> All right. Cool. She ain't got shit. Oh, you do what you think, Desmond? No? Oh, shit. Oh, let's see. Uh, what the? Man, that was, a, that was pretty fast. Uh, <laughs> um, actually, um, I got my brakes uh, my brakes fixed. That didn't happen. I got my brakes fixed. I was too lazy to change some shits myself. I normally change them myself, but... um. I actually drove 40 minutes just to pay a dude 50 bucks to change them. 50 bucks? Yeah. That's pretty good. That's a good price, right? That's a great price. What do you mean that's a good yeah. price? That's because he, that's because I think he like changed like a, like an old like G37 or something like that. And he was like, I could change them real fast. And so I was like, whoo, man, I should have charged him all. <laughs> <laughs> I gave I gave him 60. Oh, oh shit. Still, Motherfucker, <laughs> motherfucker. 10x miles, shit. <laughs> You go ahead and keep them little thumb, throw little three uh, funky ass dollars, uh, 20 and shit. Yeah, right that shit gonna cost yeah. the, the, the real mechanic? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I paid for the parts and shit. So. I need some brakes, so I said, fuck that one, just go buy me a new car. <laughs> yeah, I'm not mad at that. I'm current. <laughs> I need some new brakes, I'm like, fuck that shit. Friday, I'm gonna go get me a new car. I was like, that's a full stop pump faking. Not really, but kind of so. Oh, shit. I ain't bullshitting you. I ain't say you was. I was like, what? Both axles? Nah, I'm all right. <laughs> Get my car back, man. Take that shit down, man. Fuck around with you. You had to get rotors, too. Yep. Yep. I was like, get my car back. How much was it? How much was it? It don't even matter. Because it don't even matter. Because I'm just going to give me a new car. Like, 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 that's a down payment. Nigga, what? <laughs> you bullshit, man. I'm like, nigga, I got family. Take my shit down, man. I'm not fucking with you, niggas. They will say that. I know it's a down Lord, payment. Lord, write, write the Nissan and Elegant City and shit. Go get me a new Maximum and shit, man. <laughs> fuck these niggas, man. I was like, man, uh, get my car. I seriously, I, I said, man, take that shit down. What the fuck is wrong with you niggas? <laughs> Paying you niggas this kind of money? Welcome, welcome, you, welcome back. If you got yeah, yeah, I'm coming back. I'm coming back to the Nissan family, man. Yo said, welcome back. Yeah, I'm coming back, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've been gone for too long, man. Uh, I've been gone for too long. Fuck that shit, man. You keep that shit. Yeah, I got, got a lot of new trinkets, man. Yeah, I see, man. I see. It's a, uh, it's a black one waiting for me right up there in uh, Ellicott City and shit. Yeah, I'm thinking, I was debating if I get another one. I'm not getting one no time soon, but I'm getting another one. I think I'm going black on black. So I need a truck. I want a truck. Go, go for it. Nah, man. I need a truck. I actually do need a truck. Yeah, go for it, man. Get one. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. definitely. Yeah, man, I have a choice, kind of, sort of. Oh, man. Shit, so. You gotta give me a Jeep with some really big tires on it. There you go, get the England ass tires, man. Yeah, and go dumb shit. Fucking <laughs> sand rolling with the shit. Monster you know truck saying? tires. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that's how them shit sound when you want to roll Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. Just price your tires before you make the purchase. Buy that tire. shit all at once. Oh, yeah, they should. It's tires. only one way to do it. Can you be chewing this gum? Cause before we can now, <laughs> right? Well, I'm gonna get rid of them shit, this shit, man. Cause I keep wanting to chew it and shit. I like hide underneath my tongue and I be like, <laughs> Nah, man. Um, shout out to everybody out there that uh, that, that support us and shit from day one and shit, man. Uh, we're always going to be transparent with you niggas. We're not going to just go out there and just, you know, you never hear me just dissing a nigga and shit on on the episode and shit. Being out here or uh, <coughs> saying that um, I'm not paying a nigga or no shit like that. You'll never hear that here, man. Accountability is what uh, I want and shit, and that's what I'm going to give on this podcast and shit. And I know the fellas is going to do that as well and shit, right? You know what I mean? Like, and if you, hold people accountable as well at the first time, at the first sign of something is wrong. Yeah. Don't sit there and sit You can't, you can't let it fester. 
You know, just don't stuff. sit there and just keep brushing <laughs> shit yeah. to the side. Yeah, man, and hope the shit get better or whatever and shit. But I feel like we have a better before than that. Yeah, but that nigga, that nigga disrespectful. Yeah, you know, I don't even know what the fuck y'all talking about. I know that's why I was funny because I, I, feel, I, feel, I feel like I feel like, feel like it's. Uh, so you asked a question about Joe Biden? But, but yeah, because because it's a good it's a good topic or whatever. Yeah, okay, and also right. because it leads into like uh, I guess friendship and whatever and working with your friends and shit like that, right? Okay, right. So what uh with, with, with uh, Joe Button this past uh well shit when was it? Because we it was it was this week. It was this week. Well, last it was week. like the past. I would say like the past three. Weeks. Three weeks, probably. Well, they've like been they've been having they've been having a tumble, yeah, man. but it didn't come to a head where they are right now. Nigga, definitely be up to the rock. So <laughs> practically, <yeah. laughs> nigga Joe Button, uh, you know his podcast shit with uh, his homies Roy and Maul. Man, yeah, that, that podcast is no more. Oh wow, really? Yeah, yeah Joe Button had a. Uh, it's like the best thing he had ever going, really. Essentially, his it, music wasn't like you know, obviously. Never mind. Go ahead. It's cool, no, but, that, but that's that's uh, that's something to, to be said though. No, uh, like yeah, he I, became I, he became like he was. He had a little cult following, yeah. but he's like yeah. really popular now because of his podcast. That's so, how I feel. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, he like he technically blew it all up, or whatever. Essentially, fired uh uh, Rory on, on air or whatever. I don't think he technically fired Maul or whatever, but no, he said he, he didn't really. He didn't really. Yeah, he just said uh, you're in breach of contract to Rory and shit while recording, and then said you're fired or whatever and shit. Um, trying to say it was basically over uh, money. Yeah, so they. Uh, I think one of them uh, had a lawyer, so they was asking about. So they got a percentage of the podcast. That's crazy, yo. They have a they have a percentage. A percentage of, a percentage uh, based but, contract. But, but they did that on yeah, air. <laughs> no, um, what does it sound like? I don't know. I hear like a like a comment. Some type of feedback. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I, I hear you turn it. something up mad loud. Like I, I hear me, I hear me more, but also hear. There you go. Yeah, that's that's a little better. Somebody say something. You're gonna say somebody say something. Know if the shit working or not, man. I mean, no, I, the I, sound of us sound great, but it was a humming noise. Yeah, that shit sounded good. Yeah, though. I turned the overall volume of my headset. Well, that shit sound that show sound great. All right, let's go ahead, f- finish uh, explaining or whatever. Oh, but yeah, so they got a uh, percentage base. So it's percentage like, base contract. Uh, uh, most of the podcast. Yeah, so the podcast. Joe don't pay them no type of salary. They get paid based off of what the podcast would generate totally. Show you what it But so that, so Joe is the only nigga that's on the salary. No, they're not on yeah. salary. No, he's, so they have a profit. Profit, profit yeah. based margin yeah. contract. Yeah. Instead okay. of it just being like they they just get paid like a base number. Right. They're all getting a percentage. Uh huh. Whatever total amount would be generated. And not including like views off of YouTube and shit, which I thought was crazy. Yeah. So 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 what 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 transpired what, what transpired to cause them to kind of go into this like they said this shit been going on for like uh yeah. Like the past like years and change probably. Since it started. Yeah. yeah. Since the inception of it or whatever. So like they had saw like a four hundred thousand dollar error or mis- mishap or something. In the accounting. In because the they accounting. asked for well, they asked for uh, they asked for well, an audit. Uh huh. Because uh they wanted to know how much money was coming in because they get so, paid based, based off, off of how much money. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So they needed an audit or whatever. So that's that's sounds that's basic, right? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I mean, I like, that's fair. Even if you're working with one of your homies and shit, you yeah, know, yeah. I mean, yeah. At the end of the day, you gotta take care of yourself. So yeah, that's fair. Exactly. So they asked Joe Button's kind of a breakdown and he got upset? Yeah, essentially he said no. Yeah. He so told him no. that nigga was stealing from was he stealing from him? I, I mean, I don't want to start no shit for that. I don't, the nigga's afraid to show you the money that you're making together, then that means you're hiding something. I don't. I don't think. I don't think he was stealing from them per okay. se or whatever. All right. And I they and they don't feel like they don't that. feel like he was stealing either. But accountant had a, a four hundred some odd thousand dollar fuck up or whatever. Okay. All right. And uh, they just wanted to know where it was, and no one was trying to tell them where it was. And then they gave him like what an Excel spreadsheet. They said or something. Something. No one gives you. And they said no one gives you an Excel spreadsheet or a fucking accountant breakdown or whatever. But that's so, kind of cool that they did. You you supposed to get more than that. I mean, yeah, you should. I mean, that's all they got. I look, yeah, that's like, all they got in the email or whatever. Okay. Yeah, that's all they got. So the problem is, they feel like they want to know what happened to this missing money. What was going on with the well, box? How, which is how which is the mistake which is bad. happen? And how do you rectify it? And Joe feels like he doesn't have to tell them anything because he said he's the owner or whatever. I don't have to share anything with you guys. Like this is my shit or whatever. Wait, they are the owner. And they're like, wait a minute. I thought we started this shit together or whatever. I yeah. thought you know. So I mean, obviously Joe's the owner because you know he, they're only getting paid per episode. Joe's getting paid 
without it being per episode or are they all getting paid per episode so whatever the whatever the podcast generates they all get paid from the profit of that. so so then technically joe doesn't have a, a separate entity from that they're all getting paid from whatever they, they're making all together but 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 there are a lot of things to me that just didn't make sense to me so right. for instance when they do public appearances uh-huh um Rory and Maul, like at one point, I believe Maul said that, like he got the same amount of money from a show yeah, where it was fans. filled with two thousand, well, fifteen hundred people, and definitely two thousand. So how would I get paid the same. the same amount if I'm supposed to get paid a percentage of the sales? That doesn't make sense. So he questioned the money, which yeah. which is good for him. I mean, that's it, good for him. It doesn't make sense. So so here's my thing though, right? As even if. If they're all in it together, that's you know that's one thing. But even if Joe was like the owner of it, right? I think it's kind of like juvenile to feel like, oh well, I don't owe you nothing. You know what I mean? I'm out. Like fuck that. Like I'm gonna destroy this whole shit because that that still tells me somebody's stealing. Uh, they call it what they want to call it, but if you're afraid to show your homies, your homies the books, not even your homies, but the niggas that you making money with the books. Yeah, something wrong with the books. That's because Joe was also treating them like they were workers. Oh, yeah, they're not workers. But yeah, they're not, they're not fucking workers. But that's what I'm saying, yeah. though. Like, the head that mentality, like, you would destroy this whole thing that you created, that you generated yeah. money from. Just show the niggas the books. Because in his mind, though, in, in Joe's uh, mind, though, I don't, I don't think you guys should do enough about being bipolar. He's, he's, he's bipolar. slightly stupid. Because to me, and I don't mean no harm, but to me, like, yeah. every he has, like, a fallout with everybody he always over money. Yeah. He always he blows over money. Yeah, so I don't up. think that it has anything to do with bipolar. I don't think that... I just think he it's, fucked up the money. I honestly feel as though, like, he has a trust issue, period, when it comes to people in general. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I get that. So that's what I'm saying. I don't about. feel as though he oh. should do business with friends, period, because it'll just never work out. No. Well, yeah. No, not at all. That's what I'm saying. I, I just don't understand this because one minute he'll be like, everything is perfectly fine. Yeah, but I don't, that's not I, that's not bipolar. That's just oh, that, it's, it, trust issues don't make you bipolar. I got trust issues. I ain't bipolar. Right. Yeah, right. but you're, right. you you yeah. have trust issues. You're not disrespecting somebody you're calling your friend. But that's what he he does that with everyone though. So like. The shock of the disrespect to me is just like, I mean, he's been doing it. It's not like... So he disrespect these niggas after they, they said, hey, the money's looking weird, yo. We, well, we need to understand what's going on here. He's so like, fuck y'all power. niggas. More so I mean, who power. else is that, right? Well, oh, he, he, has, he has a network now or whatever, right? Okay. He has a network? Yeah, it's called the Joe yeah. Button Network or whatever and shit, right? I wouldn't want to be and a I part think, of that. And I think the problem, the problem uh, also was they started seeing like all this money getting pumped into different podcasts and shit like that, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like... All right, well, I don't, maybe they, I, me, I, this is me guessing, like, was that my contract that this money is going to be funneled other places and shit like that? Like, yeah, like, especially if it's all profit from what they're doing, like, that, that's I think, not fair. And I think he was taking the profit from the Joe Button podcast, probably was putting it into uh, uh, what the See the, the Thing Is podcast and Current Sibles podcast, or whatever. So, I'm confused. Go. Okay. So, y'all signed whatever contract that y'all signed. Mm hmm. Clearly, it sounds like y'all want to reimburse each other. It seems like they that y'all should have renegotiate the contract because you're saying like, okay, he was treating them like they were, but who was in charge? Like, if Joe was handling most of it, then I mean, but they did that. Like, so do you kind of set it up to be like you you working for him? But they but they did that though. Like they all sat down at a table with mm-hmm. the lawyers and the account. Like they did that. Yeah. They did that part of it. But now it's to the point where I right, like we made an agreement. We came to an agreement. But now what? shit ain't getting yeah. done. Yeah, stuff that we agreed we agree to. on. It, it, it nothing, nothing's yeah. happening. Yeah. So we need to, we need to, you know, check up on why this shit is not. And honestly, even if even if he was running and doing it like uh, I guess he owned it. At the end of the day, it depends on what's on paper. Like what did y'all agree upon? I think that's most important. And, and honestly, like, I feel like, you know, like, there's a lot of things that, that can get in the way of friendship, man. But, like, I feel like I can see why the cats ain't fucking with Joe. Because I feel like, man, if I'm running with you, for one, as, as someone that's making money together, you know what I mean? I got to trust you. Two, if you're my homeboy, I'm supposed to trust you. So if I'm like, yo, these, 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 these books look crazy, yo, like, what's up? You're like, yo, nah, fuck that, I ain't telling you shit. Well, then obviously... This is going to end our relationship because, as a friend, I think you should show me, and as someone that's you know working with you, you should show me. I think it's fucked up. He won't show him. 
That's fucked up. That's a horrible mentality. Yeah, but I've seen. I feel like we've all seen this numerous times. Like, yeah. it don't y'all? It's too much. It's y'all. too vex with friends. This is still a business. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, it's true. Are not. Yeah. So when we start negotiating contracts, have some sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, absolutely. Right. Anything right. I need to have my lawyer. I need to be a part of what's happening. But, I need them yeah. to have an update of X, Y, and Z, and I need to be seeing it go through. Right. And right. stick by it. Agreed. Don't just sit here and be like, oh, he ain't doing this month. That's my homie. It's a homie. Right. right. And yeah. I know, and that's the problem to me. That's that's to me like was the main issue was, especially with Roy. Roy kept on saying like the. Oh, I mean, like, he's my boy. Like, I ain't even stressed yeah, about it. Yeah, I'm not stressed about it. Yeah, I thought I'm that was I'm not even problem. stressed about it. No, yeah. fuck that stress about it. I don't know about that. Like, you're, but, making, you're making money. That's like going to work I, and you're telling your boss, oh, don't worry about that paycheck. I fuck with you. Like, I worry about it next week. I got bills to pay. Fuck that. Exactly. But I also think... You doing this shit for free? Outside of the uh, contract, I think it was still more so the disrespect versus the damn all money thing, too. But, like, Joe was just, like, carrying Rory, man, while, like, that shit was crazy. Like, he does it with everyone. I'm not saying yeah, that. Listen, I'm, not saying, no, I'm not saying. No, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. even saying that. But I'm just saying, like, he does it with everyone. Like, it's all for Rory. And since you've been around Joe the longest for the podcast party, because from my understanding, it was him and Joe. Yeah, and then Maul came, came yeah. later. Maul came episode seven. So, like, you already Damn. know how this man works. Like, you already know how he operates. Especially if y'all supposed to be friends, like y'all say. And, but you Maul, know how he operates. Maul used to live with uh, Joe as well. You know how he operates. Yeah. But see, but, but see, but if, he, if he's never done that still for them up. per se, what he was, what he was saying, because I think is is for for Maul more than Rory though. I think it's because Maul was never really had the issue, but the way Joe was carrying Rory, Maul like no, Maul had an issue as soon as Joe told him. Oh, it's not. You said you told him, but that's what I'm saying. Business. So, but it is my business if I'm a okay, part of the so, podcast. Right. So, listen, like, you can't sit there and say that and then like, that's, that, that's, like that's oh, nutty. okay, well, all right, the father, let me go but ahead that, and go. That's the, the, go sit in the back seat. I'm saying, but that's that's where the disrespect is, though. No. So like he feel like all right, yo, that, that nigga said he's the father. No, no. But that's no, how he that's talks what, to that's them. That's, <laughs> that's, that's literally how he talks to them. That's, that's a that's fight. How, that's, <laughs> that's how he fight and makes fuck that. Father, nigga, what? He was saying that, uh, and even to the point where I Joe guess. Button took it all the way the fuck back to whenever they was at the Duce Palooza and they ran into Jay Z, you took it all the way back there. Yeah, but why? Because niggas laughed when Jay Z was being sarcastic. So, so what? You got offended, and now you bring that up in today. Yeah. No, see, now, now, now you being petty, and now I feel, I would feel like you doing this shit on purpose. Because it was looking at him like that has nothing to do with what the fuck's going on right now, and it really didn't. Yeah, but, Yo, it really did. but why are they putting all their business out, out like that? Like that's weird. Because right? Joe did. Because yeah, Joe. Joe. <laughs> because Joe, Joe did. That's very and, you got, um, and they had to like step on that shit. For charging that two dollars. I, I paid it to him as well. I, I paid. Well, I'm, a, I'm a fan. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan. It was only two dollars. Wait, wait, wait. Two dollars for what? What happened? <laughs> rich people propaganda. Rich people propaganda. What was it two dollars for? Uh, yeah, they had to respond to whatever. <laughs> Even though I got bootleg and shit, that shit, that that shit on YouTube. I'm about to say that shit was free. I paid, I paid the two dollars. I fuck with the niggas, man. I fuck with the niggas. So but, um, I paid the two dollars. They didn't bash Joe or nothing like that. They were just saying like. No, he did say that they got. Uh, I knew shit was weird when I seen a nigga come through with a funny hat on. All right, that was a bit funny. Though. That shit was that wild. Was but it's like who the fuck wears a Murray hat, nigga? No, he said you know you never wore a Murray hats until whatever. Said, uh, yeah, but he, oh, he also asked who wear a Murray hat. I'm with him. Like who the fuck wearing these fucking uh, wild ass hats but, and shit? But to me, it's still more so of mm. being disrespected to you though. Like you can't, you ain't. Well, you you just can't be talking to a motherfucker all oh, wild and crazy. Like I, like we have an argument or whatever. All right, we might fuss or whatever. But I ask you a question and I'm not being wild or disrespectful. Right. Regular question. Mm-hmm. Right. And then you just start carrying it as if it's some old extra shit. That's great because Maul because Maul kept saying like, bro, like everything cool, but like you ain't you ain't gonna disrespect me, like, or you ain't gonna play with my play with my you, name like that. Do you think that? Because this isn't the first time, like, for a certain podcast, like, people <laughs> like, have been friends that started, you know, they're friends and then they had, like, a yeah. whole business. Period. Do you think that, but I'm saying, like, some of them have literally gone through therapy in order that they can see Joe Black there. said they did. No, nope. but that's what, but I'm, let me finish that part. Go. What go. I was going to say was, do you think it would have been uh, more productive if they had done it sooner? Yes. No. I think, well, then again, 
Joe is so sad. No, he's talking about the Joe. Me so many times. No. And then he also said they went to uh, him and Rory went to therapy twice, and then he said after that he started doing therapy with Rory just by him and Rory by himself. But yeah, and he was therapy. like, and he was like, what? He was like, yeah, I was doing therapy Nobody and I was telling no. Rory to listen, but listen. Mm-hmm. Like, then you have to come back with a positive because you had to also stroke his ego at the same time. That's what I'm saying. He don't like to be. Challenged. I can't joke with the people like that. No, 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 no. No, it's it's like sure. it's like um like I don't know I don't know like how what kind of friendships he really got or, you know I mean, he's friends. none I don't think he has any but, and I think that's that's part of the problem or family members or whatever but like it's cool to have an argument because every, everybody's not gonna be buddy buddy lovey lovey all the time but when we talk about certain shit you have a, you know how to have a conversation and not be disrespectful like. Right, but I also wonder, just my brain thinking, like, you know, some of these friendships have been for, you know, a few years with him on drugs, you know, through certain things, and mm-hmm. I just wonder. Did they let some of the behavior slide because they felt like he was getting out? Yes, and so then you get into this, it's almost like it's a toxic friendship, and it's just mm-hmm. like, so you enable, you okay his bad, poor behavior. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, well, you know, that now you're excusing, like, that's just him, that's my friend. But no, like, as we grow up, certain things you just gotta let go. It hurts, but I can't be friends with you acting like that. Mm-hmm. Hell no. You just can't be, you can't be disrespectful. I'm not fucking with y'all talking about business. Like, this ain't the time for us to be getting our yelling matches and shit. Yeah, that's like bad for business and a friendship. Because, like, if you, had, if you had a business meeting with a real motherfucking business person, you is not talking to them in that office like that. Right. I don't know, it's Joe Buns. Joe like, Buns ain't talking to no motherfuckers with no big money like that in no damn office. That's why he don't get to see the people with the big money. Well, I don't know. This was his opportunity. This was no, he, no, he, he's, he's, he, he, he gets yeah, to see the people with the big bro, money. He now he does. Because, now he does. because of that podcast. Because that's podcast. what I'm saying, though, yo. Like, <laughs> it's because of that podcast. See, why ruin this thing that created you, my nigga? I also thought that it was odd, though, that that... Uh, was she a DJ? What is oh. she? Oh, yeah. Uh, she, yeah, she's a DJ. She's a DJ. She's a DJ. Well, she's oh, oh, DJ coming DJ out saying basically that, like... Uh, I seen that episode. She was sexually too. harassed by Joe. Oh, I just watched that. I watched that shit. And so I just think that it's all like I feel like now this might be the moment where like everything oh, starts coming and coming, coming, coming the fuck out. But this ain't the because first time I heard some exactly, shit like that about Joe Button. Because though. even the um they were saying how like the staff was starting to feel like and that's another thing. So the staff started feeling like they were underpaid. Yeah, being right. over, 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 yeah, overworked, being overworked, underpaid, underpaid and shit. Like, mm. not getting no And they would, go to, they would go to Rory and Maul and say that, yeah. And so Rory and Maul came up, well, Rory, for the most part, was like, well, look, like, just don't pay me for the money and give it to the staff. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you got mo- one motherfucker that's able to go ahead and do that, that means really that all of y'all were able to do that? Exactly. And, like, in the fact that, like... Because that's not just how they were paid very well. And right, yes. you right. <laughs> yes, better than some rappers. But that's what that's what I'm saying though. Like, you instead of just doing right by motherfuckers, sitting down like let's fix this shit. All right, all right y'all niggas got me. I, I blew that four hundred thousand. But anyway, <laughs> we, I, I got I got y'all niggas back. Yo, give me a second, y'all. Anyway, um, let's just do this. I'm gonna give y'all more of a percentage. <laughs> We're gonna get over this shit. I stop paying everybody. Them niggas, them niggas ain't even wanna go to Joe Button and say, yo, we we a little tired. You know, we need a break or whatever. They should just beat his ass, man. Fuck you, Joe. Okay, I'm put this ass outside. Why did I mean? Well, like I, I just think it's unfortunate. Fucking slave it, 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 well, it was a good podcast. It was. It was great. The fucking yeah. chemistry and everything like that, man. Like, listen, hey, if you, if you feel Maybe overworked, I want not. you guys to come to us and be like, hey, look, nigga, I'm tired. I tell you. I she had my whole blow up moment. Yeah. I was like, I'm not coming in. Well, we should have to blow up. But I'm saying. But I'm saying, like. You oh you guys be like uh, we're not gonna be as big as the day. Well, this HR and is trash. And first of all, first of all, I'm trying. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I wrote a whole text message to HR in the morning. No, no, no. What when was this? I tried, man. Look, listen. God damn it. I'm just saying, like, we don't be like, oh, you can't miss a day. That's crazy. Like sometimes you you got you got you got to take care of. It. And then for and then Joe, he had the right not to fucking have his personal business on the podcast. Nigga, nigga, he started uh, nigga shitting on Roy right. personally and shit. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, this, this is wild. Yeah, this nigga don't want that shit on the podcast. Clearly, I, I guess, you know, whatever happened between him and... Did they... Him, he, he never came out and said what happened with him and... Oh, okay. Them niggas are children. Well, Joe. With, with, yeah, Joe. And, and which is his right or whatever. Right. Because the, 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 uh, the nigga Academics was the one that was talking cold cash shit about him and, and his situation or whatever. And that's why when he, Joe Button said he would uh, work with uh, Academics again, Roy was like, you would? Like, damn, I thought we were cool. Like, 
if you, if I got a problem with a nigga, right? Mm. And but but you know the nigga, whatever y'all done business together before and shit, right? Mm. You know, but now I got a problem with him. Would you continue to do business with this person? I mean that depends. Like you can't, I can't say that's, that's different. I think it depends on what that's they're different. talking about. So like, like if it's something that's if, touchy and they're really talking a lot of shit. Like like what what happened? Be, what happened with him? That was that was man. That was too much. That's what I'm saying. So like I want I don't know that part of the story neither. So I, I don't want to say it because you know. But yeah, so we'll talk offline. Yeah. Like, I can't say yes because I don't know that part of the story. But like if both of y'all want my ass or whatever, and and a nigga got that's that. That's not even. Kind of, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm saying I'm and a nigga got that kind of problem or whatever. Yo, you keep talking mad spicy about my homeboy. Y'all gonna get put in the room and then let me see if you still wanna talk about that shit. Oh, shut the fuck up and stop talking about it. Like, it's, it's not Joe, Joe didn't even do that. He just said, yo, that, that, he said, that's Ack. That's how Ack did Nah, yo, we're not doing up. that. We're not doing that. Like, you see, so I got money with academics. Like, some, you know like sometimes, I mean? um, like I said. <laughs> that nigga ain't got no respect for him. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes it's a respect thing. It's like, a respect thing. Like, I don't give a fuck. Here's my thing personally, thing. yo. Like, if I'm getting money with you and we getting mo- good money together, and you don't fuck with my man, or the best thing you can do is shut the fuck up. Yeah. You're getting this money. Yeah. Because nine times out of ten, if you're like, I don't fuck with your man, they, 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 they. I don't know what type of person I am. I'm not going to necessarily like go back and tell my man or put them in a fight. I might just hit you myself, honestly. Because <laughs> I mean, it's like, yo, but you got like, no respect for me. Nigga. Like, like, you know. You're disrespecting me because you right, know I right, fuck right, with him. Right, you right. said it directly to me. I don't, I don't fuck with that now. You know what I mean? If I'm talking shit about him, I could do that. But that's what I'm saying. But yeah. It's like your, 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 your outlook, your outlook, your outlook one is the same as mine. Like, cause it's a, it's just a disrespect thing. Like, yeah, like yo, that's my man. You ain't gonna be talking cold cat shit about him. Like, I, like if y'all niggas getting money, I'm going to want y'all to continue to get money. But I'm gonna be like, yo, make yeah. sure that nigga don't say shit about me, man. That's not even keep, that. My, like, keep that nigga name. Keep my mouth. You yeah, know? you can't be. Yeah. And then like, if I'm getting like, I don't, I don't want you to be even going to your platform though, cause like, if you're supposed to be cool with me. Yeah, you know that's my man. It's like, like, don't don't talk about me. You, you that's what I'm saying. To me yeah. also, don't fucking talk about me. But though. even the fact where like Joe was like, and that's why I say it's strictly an ego thing. It's when an ego he thing. told Maul that like he was basically upset with him because he felt like he chose Roy's side over his yeah. side. Yeah. Bitch, we ain't know we know. Yo, he said he, he said you know, he said you know, he he know, 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 and Maul, what the and fuck but, is wrong? Right, 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 like that, like we all turnoil. Yeah, we're not about right. to Yo told that nigga it's none of your business. He like, said that's when he said that's when he knew the uh, the podcast was over with. Yeah, because it's, di- it's, it's different when he it's business. different if he and was who like told it, who said that they wasn't gonna last long? Was it Charlemagne? Charlemagne. Charlemagne. And he said it to all three, all of, three them. of them. Yeah, Charlemagne <laughs> said Joe gonna fuck it up. That's he what said Joe gonna fuck this shit up. But, and that's uh, sad because this is a really good podcast. But um. Huh? May wait for other ones. If if Rory had like needed time for whatever reason and it wasn't like no Joe him and Joe beefing, then I understand recording. But if them two beefing and you telling him, yeah, he he can come, he can record, you like, no, nah, don't come. Like like what what? No, nah, they But also in, in, in uh I don't even know why but but in uh, Joe's defense he said he reached out to Maul uh after he uh, had that, well, after he had text uh, Roy, he said he reached out to them all uh, several times to like, yo, come to the cribs, so let's talk about it or whatever. Maul never like answered back, or whatever. Maul said he was a little busy, or whatever. And he said they finally had the conversation the day of, and I think that Joe, that's why Joe was in his feelings. Like, damn, nigga, I've been trying to call you and talk about this shit. Well, nigga, you should have Facetime me instead of telling me if it's that yeah, important. He said, he said, you said, want me to come he said, to the house. He said, yo, come to the house. He said, well, let's go have dinner. Or whatever and shit yeah, like that. But if I'm busy, I can't. Like, yeah. call because he said he was looking for apartments or some other shit. Yeah. Who the fuck feel like, first of all, yeah. taking that drive back from New York to fucking Jersey? Yeah. I'm not doing that. 
Yeah. Did I come right back to the fucking New York? No. Yeah, nigga, call me. That's why I fucked So he was, he was in his feelings oh, about that. Y'all could have had a Zoom shit. meeting, a Teams meeting, a motherfucking he was in FaceTime. <laughs> but, but, I, but, I, but, I but I understand him actually wanting to sit down. There's nothing like the human element. Like, y'all just want to no, sit down but and, if, and have this conversation. FaceTime but, is the right. next best thing. But this is what I'm telling you, though. If, <clears throat> if, if one of us is looking for a place to stay or, mm-hmm. or it could even be that. If, if I had something to do with my kids or some mm-hmm. shit, yeah. and I'm nowhere near where you, you live oh. Fucking however far you live, gang, gang of toes too. Yeah. Yo, but I'm not gonna be able to make that today. So if it's that important, we need to hop on the phone. Yeah. It's not hard. You just came hard. and met me. We could have met in the city for dinner. Yeah. And like, that ain't no like, bullshit. Like, yo, come, come, come to me. Like, like, uh, if, or, you, if, if it was that important. Joe should have said, "Yo, well, we looking for an apartment. And I'll come. I'll come with you if you want. Or we can talk. Can we meet out somewhere in the middle? Yes. Something. Yeah. But I'm saying if it was that serious by Joe Budden. And not even saying that he didn't do any of that, but no, he, he tried. If you wanted to have a conversation, you could have. Told that nigga the podcast was none of his business. That's wild shit. And that's what I'm saying. But see, that right there was super disrespectful. Super disrespectful. And that's been um, it's a nourishment. Hey, that's been you know adding in two sets about you know what's happening. What's uh, what DJ Olivia Dope? Or you you just talking about what you're talking about? Oh, Kevin Hart. Oh, Kevin Hart. Oh, yeah, I watched his, I watched his oh, what did he say? I mean, he said it's bad leadership by Joe. He said in a podcast with Dope, he like the podcast. In a roundabout. Uh, but it is bad leadership. But he be talking to, to about how people talk to other people when Kevin be talking that little He was stupid. spicy as, as hell, so his, uh, his, his, um, his, so his you man's know, in there. Watch, watch yourself now. No, but he, but he, 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 didn't, he didn't say nothing about how Joe speaks to them. He said that. But I'm saying when you, when you start talking about other people's business, no, he was just saying that people are going to bring up your business. But Kevin was only saying that it's fucked up that it had to end the way that it did. And Kevin said he'd be Kevin sure. Kevin did that because Joe was used to talk. Joe about used to talk cool cash shit all Joe Bunny just that's what he does or whatever. So but and Kevin was saying like he, he opened up the books to his homeboy too though. That's what he's saying. He said like y'all would never have to ask me that because I show you. I show y'all everything, everything as, as you know. Going on. Mm-hmm. So y'all don't never have to ask me, uh, well, how much money we bring in this week? Mm-hmm. The know. fact that he did not give them no YouTube. Yeah, he said, I'm not giving y'all no that's money. That's wild to me. Yeah, that, that was a part of the... Um, Joe said... You how was that a part of the agreement? Did they sign they up for sat, that shit? They sat down with their lawyers, lawyers. and agreed to that. He said, you can start Why would they own, ever agree to something? He said, you start your own like YouTube page or whatever, and then you can add uh, some of the videos over to your own YouTube because who the my fuck page is going is my to page Joe Budden's page to watch his fucking rap videos? No one. You're going there to watch the sh- No one, but I was are strictly take, coming taking from those videos, fucking- though. I mean, yeah. they was like, that was proud that's, that's, of them, but yeah. I would take those videos. I would, I would have said, cool, let me get those videos. I would have been like, I'd agree that. Me, personally, I would have agreed to it. Because it's so hard with YouTube, like, mm-hmm. take them videos. Yeah, sure. it's hard as shit. So I, I understand what Joe was saying. Like, yo, yeah, start but, your like, own page. And take the videos or whatever. Create here's the thing. Or I feel like the here, here's the thing, right? Mm-hmm. So like, all right. Let's say for example, like with our situation, right? If we did a YouTube channel, mm-hmm. we would call it the Nourishment Podcast or whatever, something under Nourishment. That's what's right. Called. Um, <laughs> and 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 the Joe Button Experience, right? Mm-hmm. Shit's called Joe Button Experience. Like it's named after him. So like, if he named it though, the Rory. Experience and, and and put all like all of the fucking like you know the podcast videos. It's not going to get the same amount of traffic, which means it's not going to generate the same amount of money. Come on, he fucking know that. His name's on it, so you have to put your name on a podcast. They got to get paid from that. I want to sign that shit. Nah, I want some of that YouTube money, bro. But that's but okay. So Man, you said they negotiated and X Y Z. So yeah. if I take those videos, it, I could put whatever hashtags I want, I want to. to put on no, I understand that, but you you're not going to get this. But you're, you're not going to get as much traffic as Joe Buttons. I, not, I, I'm going to disagree. They're not arguing. Nah. They weren't arguing no. this point either. So like, they weren't. They should have. They should have. No, they spoke about it. They was like, yo, because Roy was like, yo, we agreed that that was that. He said, we're not fussing about money, whatever. We're fussing. We're, not fuss. we're having a question about this one fucker and how we're going to move forward so it don't happen. Yeah, that question was about $400,000. How much money did we make or whatever generate so I can know what I'm supposed That's a lot of fucking money. <laughs> and that's, that's what Bruce said. Bruce said, I mean, like, that's a big fucking And you want me to like, look over? You want me to just skip over that? Like, how am I supposed to skip over whatever that? The, whatever the financial institute that does the thing or whatever, he's like, we ain't going to see hey, the name. Was the Wells name? Management. I'm going to say yeah. something Wells. So, um, oh, yeah, he said Joe had said it right. But anyways, yeah. they were like, they were more so stuck on the the four hundred thousand dollar fuck up. Uh huh. It's a lot of fuck up. And can we see what's coming in so we know what we supposed to get? 
So, because, like, if you know what you're supposed to make or generate that's coming in, you can then make moves to do other things in your personal life. And just imagine if your staff was saying that they was overworked and underpaid. Somehow y'all lost $400,000. What the fuck? But they don't seem to care like, too much about that money could have went to the sales. <laughs> that money could have went to the sales. They ain't asking for the staff. Well, no, I can't say well, that because, well, like I said, Rory said, well, look, don't pay me. Don't pay me. He told, he told um, Joe Button's manager, he said, well, because of the money that was coming in from uh, Patreon, he said he was getting a shit ton of money from Patreon. Mm. And he said, well, those guys are being underpaid. He, said, he told the guy, Ian, don't give me that money. Just, just split that shit up with the, with the staff. With the staff or the, that was that nice down between them or whatever. That was nice. And so. then he said he got a call back from Joe the next day screaming, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, money and shit like that. I take care of my people. Blah blah blah. Whatever, whatever, whatever. And he's like, what? Well, all this? I'm getting all this. Is he like what the fuck? Yeah, because I just, I was just giving him some. Because, because, he, because, he, because he also spoke about the dude, the dude Savon or whatever. Because he was saying that uh, Joe said Savon should feel like like he could should be able to come and talk to him or whatever. Because you know he he just got a raise. Remember, that was like a thing on the podcast. Or whatever. He finally got a raise. And um, but I think Ian is the one that he has spoke to him, not Joe. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Look, listen. I don't never want to get to a point where uh, nobody want to talk to Joe, bro. <laughs> I don't never want to get to a point where a nigga don't want to talk to me, man. Thing. It's part. And, but uh, but is he? he neutral? I don't know if that nigga neutral. I don't neutral. think he has a choice. Uh, yeah, I don't think he has a choice either. I didn't know all these niggas were on the podcast. I thought. That name like seven. Damn, you got the background guys. I think yeah. Parks is the guy who kind of Parks is like a part of the podcast engineer. now. Yeah, he's the he's, he's an engineer. engineer. He's yeah. you and shit. Oh shit. But you're not impartial. You just don't if you don't fuck with it, you don't fuck with it. Yeah. And he the type of nigga like, well I see what Joe is saying and I see what the guys are saying or whatever. I just want to keep getting paid. Oh my god. I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. That's essentially how he's carrying it. Coming. But, uh, he's been doing a lot of dick eating on those uh, two episodes. I ain't gonna hold Oh god. Yeah. He didn't say ass kissing. He yeah, said he dick eating. doing a lot of dick eating. I ain't like it. Yeah, like like, like what Moss Moss said, like if you're wrong, you're wrong. Yeah, call a nigga out. Like when one of y'all do something fucked up, I don't get that. Yeah, oh, if it's wrong, it's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong it is wrong though. And I, I guess like the thing that makes me mad about Rory is is just this. Like Joe showed you who the fuck he was mm-hmm. when you had the fucking meeting with Elegant, so that y'all can go to title. Oh, he won't get. And y'all and deal. he said, well, look, well, all right, I'm just go and bring it to the fellas. Joe got fucking mad you because he got mad, mad. Me. and you didn't even make no commitment to nothing. <laughs> said, Don't you fucking talk about this podcast. This is my podcast. Like, like that was red flag number that, one. That was red flag number one. Yeah. Yeah. He called back. The, he said a day later talking about something. So I spoke with uh, Title and they wondered like, nigga, that's the same fucking. Deal. It's the same deal he was going to give you, but okay. And meanwhile, Joe, Joe was one of Joe, like you guys never came back with no deals. I ain't want to bust no money down and no shit like that. I was like, this nigga is going on a rant. That's when he told uh, Roy, he said, nobody fucking asked you to come to the hospital when my son was being born. I was like, dude, this guy's upset. And see, for me, shit like that is like, <laughs> like yo, you, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Why, why, why is he even discussing that? That nigga was going, you <laughs> no, I, the fuck off. That nigga's a juvenile. Hey, yo, I'm sorry if I will. That's fucking stupid. Thing. No, nah, so man. Like, so that's what I said. So like, I love you guys. When we have <laughs> arguments, it's an argument. You know what I mean? It's cool, but. That shit, but right there was disrespectful. Yeah, I would never see no shit like that. I wouldn't no, like, I think they could be like, yeah, and they ain't about to ask you to come to my daughter's birthday party. I'd be like, damn. Damn. Yo, but who thinks that shit, though? Like, that nigga. Yo, like, I don't even know where I could That's possibly be in the world to say some dumb shit like that. Nigga, come to my kid's birthday party. I'm like, oh, man, I appreciate you so much. Give me a hug, nigga. Yeah, I'm really just trying to piss you off and fuck those presents you bought my child. Yeah. Twelve years ago. Yeah, I'm really just trying to piss you off and fuck those presents you bought my child. 12 years ago. That shit sound crazy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, the fuck were you still in that, nigga? Like, exactly. you store that yeah. shit. Like, that's just stupid. But like, because like when you, oh, you like if you, if you having a hot debate or hot argument, niggas, with, you, niggas talk shit. That's what we do. You talk shit. All right, it's cool. But yeah. there's a way to talk shit and be angry. But there's a way niggas be disrespectful. Yeah, that nigga, like, that shit was disrespectful. Joe be mad. Like that was beyond a call. Like, oh, like yo, we got you. You owe me five minutes. Now. Like yo, the, don't worry we about the podcast. And it's like yo, what you mean? Like we build this shit together. Yeah. Man. Yo, it's okay for niggas to be upset, yo. Yeah, it's cool. But I think it comes to a point in time when if you get too upset, you just need to get the fuck off air, yo, and then and, 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 and maybe out your differences, yo. But to do that shit on live TV, just basically say these niggas ain't got no no sort of discipline. Like, I ain't going to be hollering, yelling, and, and throwing out <laughs> dirt. You know what I mean? Putting that shit for everybody yeah, man. to see. Yo. Like, it comes to a point in time where it's like, you know, this is not for everyone. Yeah, Roy was, you know like, I mean? visibly worrying what the fuck was wrong with him on his face for the, on those, uh, like, 
like for a while on that podcast. You can visibly see like that's crazy. Wrong with but then he had some type of like a. Uh, nah, I don't want to say. Oh, all right. I don't want to say. But I mean, it did happen. That was a serious. Thing, it, it it was serious or whatever. No one knew about it until the uh, the nigga academics had had put his business out there in the streets or whatever. Hit a stroke. Shit like that. No, no, no. Nah, yeah, it's it's oh. stroke, man. God damn. Wow, well, I don't fucking that's, know y'all ain't say it though. That's fucked up. I'm like, I'm like, don't say my nigga had a stroke. I don't know why I went there with it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, I can I can see what you. It probably was something that he didn't want to talk about. He didn't want to talk about that so, shit, man, because it involved it involved over somebody else yeah. and shit. So it's right, like, I don't want right. to talk about this shit. Man. Yeah, we'll talk about it after. Yeah, we'll talk about after the pub, or whatever. But, okay, you know, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, shout out to Rory. Like it's shit. cool. No, no. Shout out to Rory and Maul or whatever, man. I hope they yeah, are. Man, hold your hands up and fuck that guy. Start your own podcast. podcast. I think they are going to start their yeah, own podcast. Start. That guy's a diva. The response one is their podcast or is that him? No, oh, I don't know if that one's That background, that background was dope. Like is it background. called Fuck Joe Buttons Experience? <laughs> oh, shit. No, I think it's called. It's, it's called New Rory and Maul. I ain't gonna lie, that background. That background. Oh, baby, what, cut, where, cut the little Joe Button part out of the little baby. Yeah. Babies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The um, like you know where they filmed that shit at? They filmed that shit at where uh, the one chick from Horrible Decisions and um, the nigga that be filming um, Andrew Schultz uh, shit. They got their own. Um, oh, Andrew Schultz, Schultz got his own. Uh, they got their well. He has his own studio, but the nigga that be filming his shit with him, he has his own studio oh, so as too, well. Yeah, with the, the girl, girl from uh, he's Indian. Nah, he uh, Puerto Rican. Like, Puerto, Rican like, Puerto Rican and black. Hold up. I'm talking about the nigga that be filming his shit, not oh, the nigga that be filming with. Okay, but yeah, the, guy, the guy he filmed with is Indian, though, right? Or was he oh, Pakistani? Hey, well, something. Check other. So, <laughs> yeah, check, some check other ass nigga. But yeah, yeah they, awesome. they filmed it at his uh, at their studio and shit. Okay. Word right up. Yeah, man. But that, hey, the, 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 right, the decor to their. Uh, that shit was hard. Yeah, I like the that decor. That shit was hard, man. Shout out to them niggas, man. Listen, man, don't don't be out here fucking treating your friends they like should, shit. They should probably interview people, though. You think, mean, they, you interview. think they should interview people? Yeah, because I, I like the way. Uh, how I'm all of them ask questions. I like that. I like that, and I like how they actually talk about music. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what okay. I also like how I feel about the Breakfast Club. I hate it when Charlamagne not there. <laughs> <laughs> when he when he not there, that show is Especially dry. Especially if they interview on somebody. Yeah, I'm oh. like this shit is a struggle. Skip. I don't watch that episode. Yeah, like Charlamagne asks the best questions. Like Charlamagne is a great interview. Yeah, he, um, he's more in tune with what the hell's going on. This shit, man. And the game ain't, ain't even a journalist. I think Joe, I think Joe <laughs> Biden is better at I mean, not better, but I think Joe Biden's really good at the interview thing when he did the pull up with people. But it got to be people that he likes. He's really good. Yeah, great say Because if you don't like him, it's just be bad. He's really shit. good at uh, at random ass banter. He's not good at like keeping like a, um actual like some topic man. Yeah, because he likes to talk about a lot of sex, uh, a lot of relationship type shit or whatever. Okay, and that's what's up. That's about it, whatever. And then like he always tries, he always finds a way to get back to like sex. Mm. <laughs> it seems like whatever. So there was a chicken shortage, and I was thinking the other day while I was fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, man. So oh, why do you think why you think that uh, homegirl? We can get off this topic after this, but why do you think homegirl said something like the other day, like finally about that shit? Rory Mile gave her the lane too. You think so? You think that's what it was? She probably wanted to do it already. It was nervous. I think she probably been wanted to do it. And she didn't know how to do it. She literally it. left right after that episode. That was her last episode. Right. But I'm saying, seeing them voice their opinion, it, it gave her courage to voice her opinion. Did you see it, like part of the video when she was talking? Yeah, I watched. That it. She was nervous as shit. Yeah, yeah. She, like she, she was. She was real she, careful about she was, what she yeah. was saying. She was, how she was, she was reading it. shit. She had timestamps. Yeah. She had all that shit. And I was like, and I, was like I remember. The, I remember watching. That uh, that episode. And now I remember it was like this show was ass. And I was like, yo, it's it's crazy that because sometimes you might feel like um, just because you're in this this comfortable setting of what we would normally do, yeah, uh-huh. you can't speak to everyone the way you would speak to someone else. So Fuck. you might have a girl that's comfortable with you talking. Yeah, yeah. So so doesn't know what the hell's going on. Nasty or mm-hmm. whatever. And then it's going to be a chick that might be in that room that's a little more reserved or mm-hmm. not like about that life so when you're saying those certain things she can get um, offended or nervous like mm-hmm. not offended but more so like nervous and don't know how to respond yeah. Yeah. like like do you, do you have a friend Desmond that you can be like man look man I, oh man I wish I could just fuck you right now do you have one of those type of uh, girl girl uh, friends or something like that around? I don't think I ever had like a, a friend well a friend that you could be like you just talk to the type of all types maybe of. if we're like if we're more like in a fucking friend like relationship yeah, okay. type of thing all right, yeah, cool. it's different cool. but you already know I'm, I mean she already know we fucking yeah, because but you we're fucking friends you wouldn't st- do that fucking friends. you wouldn't right. do that with someone that was brand new to like your circle or something right like so like say so like, like you had a homegirl you cool but she bring a friend around right thank and you. then you'd be like 
Oh, oh, I seen her before. Oh, I seen her at the gym. I always wanted to fuck you. Yeah, you wouldn't say, you wouldn't say no shit like that, would you? <laughs> fuck no. Come here, give me a hug. Yeah, come here, give me a hug. And he grind on it and yeah, shit. That shit. Who the fuck did that? We should talk more often. Yo, that nigga creepy we, as fuck, we don't, talk, we don't talk to the person. We, 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 should, we, should, should. we should talk yeah, more. we should talk more. We should talk more. Yo, I more. would feel weirded out. I'm like, yo, my man. Yeah, I'm <laughs> this like, shit's yo, weird. This is shit wild, man. Stop yo, so, talking about Stop like it, that, nigga. Yeah, so yeah, that's how yeah, I had to intervene. So, so that's essentially what happened. So the room was for the women. So he's okay. the only guy in, in, in the part of the okay. conversation. And okay. He knows the other two women. It wasn't okay. whatever. Right. And, and they're laughing because they're thinking, like, oh, it's Joe or whatever. Because they're used to it. They don't mind it. But the yeah. other girl. The other girl. She's not. And she probably displayed on her face she was uh, displeased, right? They said that, yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's sexual harassment at that point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, was, like, like yeah, honestly, like if I was in a situation and I had a homegirl, right, and I was joking with my homegirl, she might have said something. I might have said something sexual back. Like, yeah, I mean, I got a homegirl. We might joke like that. Yeah. We ain't like, hey, I'm gonna fuck you type. So he might say some shit. Yeah. She might say something back. We're just fucking around, right? Yeah. And uh, homegirl's right there. I'm gonna check to make sure I, I ain't offend you, did I? Oh no, I'm good. Oh, okay, cool. Because I got a, a vulgar mouth. Now she like, well, me too. Then you know. All right, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't say that exactly, yeah. but though, that's different. Then, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you want to check the room. How the fuck is this nigga, like, how the fuck does he do a podcast you don't check the room? That nigga's a creep. Hey, man, I don't hey, know. Man, look, fuck listen, it, damn with Joe Buttons. I'm not, I'm not going to be out here. But that's, that. Yeah, you don't have to, I will. That was the <laughs> gist of it. I she probably had, she had a little bit more specific stuff. She did. Happen. But that was like the big part of the story. Yo, that shit is sexual it, harassment, though, bro. It is. <laughs> that is literally sexual harassment, yo. Like, That's why she said So the other day I was watching TV and I was thinking, I should just pull my dick out. And they're like, <laughs> wait. Like, she didn't, like, didn't want to, um, she didn't want to, like, file any, like, criminal or deals or shit like that. She just wanted to let them know, like, I'm leaving, that nigga's lucky, I'm yo. leaving yeah. your, uh, your network or whatever. So she called her lawyer to let them know yeah. why she was leaving or whatever, just to do it the correct way. So she didn't sue him. She didn't sue no, him anything she, like that. And she, she just, just wanted to explain, she just wanted to, to, explain to people. It's always the real creeps that don't get sued and shit, yo. That's not real. <laughs> shit, nigga, that ain't creeps. Nigga, that ain't creeps don't get sued and shit, yo. I think some people was wondering why she, they haven't sued Yeah, because she just, like, left. That like, show was already was ass, ass, but then to see her like leave, I was just like, "What the fuck is that?" This nigga said, "I've been seeing you a long time. I always wanted to I was, fuck you." Yeah, it's, no, he said, "I never." He said, "I uh, I never met you before, or whatever." But but you know, I think we should fuck. We can become a power couple and all this other shit. And she looking like, "What the fuck is going on?" Oh, that's that's Joe. No, that ain't just fucking Joe. Look, wow, listen, you so gotta can't be out here. Has anybody ever talked to you girls like that? Like niggas, a brand new nigga, just out of nowhere and shit. You around your homegirl or whatever? They know the nigga, and the nigga just, <laughs> and the nigga just, just yeah, she already, she wearing her face like hell no. Stab, 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 stab. Like I wish that nigga yeah. would. What about you, Shawnee? Nigga ever just, just be like, you know, like, like, damn girl. Producer be like, power up. Oh, <laughs> like I like your face. I want to fuck your face. And yeah, never, oh, met, never met you before and shit. You know throw what I mean? Yo, throw me. Yeah, that's crazy. That shit sound nuts. Bro, that's so wild, yeah. bro, you know, like... And then hug you, don't know who the fuck you are, and just start humping on you and shit. But see, I wow, think that my know? friends respect me enough to know not to bring me around nobody like that. Mm. It goes back to that, mm. that R word, that R word. You think that you wasn't going to warn the girl that he do shit like that? Like this nigga, oh, yeah, like, this nigga a little bit of creep. Not, How y'all talk? You like, bitch, this nigga say some wild shit? Well, uh, I'm about to leave. I'm about to get the fuck out of here. Like, I don't want to be around. I ain't going to do this episode. Yeah, but I'm not, I don't like that type wild ass shit, man. Right. That's exactly what he did to him. Exactly. Or just respect you. That's not a good friend. That's what I'm saying, right? That's not a good friend. She was sitting there lost, like, huh? They and this shit nigga's off, humping bro. on this woman. Yo, he she started grinding on her and shit when he was talking. Yo, and she was like, oh. That nigga yeah. has an ego problem. This is ego, yes. bro. Like, I guess he think because he's Joe Buttons, he can just, like, hump on, hump on, like, any chick. But it'd been really fucked up if, like, her boyfriend was, like, some super fucking MMA dude, right? <laughs> and she gonna tell that nigga. That's and he just, like, fucked Joe Buttons up, like. Not even if it was her boyfriend, though. But even if she just her, would have went ahead and laid oh. hands on oh, her herself. She should have held that nigga out. That's just like when he had uh, sat on Esther Baxter's uh, stomach and shit, and he said, "I just he, did what? he said I didn't sit on her stomach. I sat on the part between her titties and her stomach." <laughs> what? What? My chest, nigga. <laughs> my sternum. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, my sternum. sternum. He, said, he said that wild ass shit when he was on the Breakfast Club. They was talking about it because you know we uh, yeah, he, had, he had an issue with uh, like Esther Baxter because he was, he was uh, in a relationship with her and they was just, like fighting and shit like that. And then he had, I, don't he said, think he, I don't think he, for one, respects women too much. She, she was pregnant with his child, by the way. When he sat on her sternum? Yeah. 
<laughs> it's just said, a wild fuss. I didn't sit on her stomach. I said, I want to fuck her between her titties and her stomach. I said, what? You know, nigga, that used to have a little bit of stomach then, nigga, because that little bar ain't a motherfucking small shit. Ain't that big, huh? Yeah, you sat on some stomach, nigga. You sat on titty and stomach. Yeah, you pray well. Yeah, oh, that asshole. All right, man, fuck that nigga. What else is going on in the world? What else Seriously. is going on? I love y'all guys. I just want to let you know that if you have a problem, you come to us and shit, right? You file a complaint with uh, HR, okay? Yeah. HR's going to take care of you, all right? All right, I just want to throw that out there, all right? <laughs> no. Don't look at me like that, man. HR man, got you know, back. HR is I'm got, man, I got some panties <laughs> pressed up for y'all. You know, we gonna we gonna have a field day. We oh, <laughs> have a field day. I, I know. I want to talk to y'all about about something. What is just, pizza day? I want pizza. I want to talk about, about a trip with, with y'all and shit. Well, two trips. I need to talk to y'all about or whatever. We need yeah. to get together. But Sweet one in particular. Trips. One in particular. Is, uh, you want to talk about it online? We can talk about it. I mean, offline it's or online. It's one free. <laughs> here's, the, here's the thing. No, I was about to ask you this shit, right? Because it's you know summertime's coming up and shit like some, that. Some, some, um, some. Uh, we can talk about all air, all air, whatever. This, this yeah, particular trip or whatever. I was wondering, you know, because you just, you know, some guys here have kids or whatever and shit like that. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Uh, but I was wondering if you guys want to, like, you know how we went to uh, Charlotte and shit, right? Yeah. I was wondering if we get another big ass SUV or whatever, and if guys just want to take a trip to, I don't know, like, we can drive down to Atlanta. And you, can, you know, you want to bring your kids or whatever and shit. You can take them to the motherfucking uh, the aquarium right there and shit like that. Ooh, y'all gonna drive with them kids? I'm not driving. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not riding with them kids. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying. I was thinking of things. We can leave the kids. We can all just go to the uh, to, no, to the aquarium. Yeah, I'm I, I, you wanted, just, that's, that's probably better. Yeah, yeah, you can leave the kids. I was just thinking, you know, because you know, I'm saying we could do shit last year. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But the drive. So I'm trying we, to. We might have to get uh, you know boost morale and shit. You know, each be thinking about shit like that. man. What? <laughs> <laughs> you might have to fly and get the rental when we get down there. That, that might be a long drive for you. Yeah, kids. Mine talk too goddamn. Well, 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 if you don't want to bring your kids, then that's an option or whatever. I'm just thinking because you know, uh, I ain't gonna lie, yo. He lived there rapping to himself and shit over top of you. I'm like, hey, little man, what's going on back there, man? <laughs> that's no bother. People gonna laugh at you like, it's uh, a little chopper. It's a little chopper. But put that nigga in the way back. Like Shit. Put that nigga in the way back. Put that nigga with a hatchback, kids, nigga. Shit. Oh, fat. Oh, fat. He don't know. Nigga, I don't know me. I don't know either. Fuck the fuck out of here. So I'm saying, just, you know, just take a trip or whatever and shit like that. That's what I was thinking and shit. I don't know what the fuck you niggas want to do or something like that. Hey, you know, you can. We'll, we'll follow up with See, that. Joe, Joe the fuck up. Cause you be, you be feeding it. You be feeding to my nephew. All that shit talking, mm-hmm. he gonna he gonna keep agitating you because he gonna want you to keep talking shit to him. No, I ain't gonna keep talking shit. He gonna be, uh, be, he gonna be giggling and chuckling every time you oh, get excited. Shit, y'all. Like, mm-hmm. well, he got to stay home then. This <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is just gonna be us then. This is gonna be us. Like, uh, he got to stay home. Then. He got to stay home. We'll bring him on the next one, and we gonna we gonna do that or whatever. Gotcha. I'm just thinking gotcha. something, you know, something for uh, for for us to, you know, because I like to. He got people down there. I could drop the ball. Okay, well, we'll, we'll talk then. We'll talk. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll talk. What, what else is going on, though? Um, What's just going to finish on? with entertainment. Oh, bang, bang, bang. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to pussy with you, but I did. Talk, yeah, oh, yeah. I did. That's sorry. My bad, then. She <laughs> now is a mother, so congratulations to her. Well, how old is she? Let's rewind. and yeah, she was a motherfucker at 65. Stop. We don't know whether she ain't going to be she, menopause. Yeah. Did, you're, did she carry the baby or did she uh, she rented it? We don't know. Rented. rented. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm sorry. Adopted. Uh, you said rented. Okay. No, do a real apology. So I I'm apologize sure for renting babies. How oh, the no. baby was conceived. Uh, okay. I apologize. She yeah. is a new mommy, so congratulations. So we don't know if it's a bio. Oh, I, I think, think I've seen that picture. The baby had a white foot. All babies I have white feet. So part of you. Like, she is 50. Oh, all right. She, she can still have a baby. She wanted to have You don't know if she throws her eggs. She that's got buku money. So that's what I'm saying. Right. Holly, Holly Bray had one at 55. She's straight. Anyway. Congratulations. I apologize. I'm happy that finally happened for you. Yeah. Moving yeah. 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 along. Ariana Grande got married. Who she married? Damn, oh, that low low. Some nigga named Gold, some some Gomez or some shit like that. I thought she was fucking with old buddy, man. Man, you are late. You about to say Big Sean. Sean. That's exactly what you about to say. Oh, Oh, nigga, that's 10 years ago. Every other nigga. (laughs) 
been with Janae Eichel for the longest time. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I can't keep up with this shit. No, man. We see, nigga. You got that rock. Motherfucking Patrick over here. Open your eyes sometimes when you're on social media. Yeah, SpongeBob. Nigga live on a fucking rock, man. SpongeBob. Hey, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Oh, nigga Patrick. Man, that nigga live on a rock out this bitch, man. God damn, man. Get out more, man. Fuck. I'm doing any news. Yeah, he ain't got his nigga Patrick out. Yeah, yo. Fuck, man. He packed when they was, when they became uh, workout dudes. <laughs> yeah. Diesel, shit. Diesel the bitch. That's that's him right there. That's that episode right there. And shit. Don't come out to work out and go back in the rock and shit. That's all I really do. All right, what else is going on? And shit. Shout out to Ariana Grande. Uh, 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 happy birthday. What the fuck? Please not be died. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's a lot of men and shit to you, Mary. Um, shit. Shout out to you two niggas. You two niggas. <laughs> Oh, my niggas in the whole wide world. Um, other things in the news, entertainment-wise, uh, just, I guess, going back to a conversation we had a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Um, but T. Grizzly was talking about he, how he urged his fellow rappers to get life insurance. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, you know, that's a good thing, but people in general should just get life insurance. Yeah, but, not just rappers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got about five policies and shit. My mother got two of them on me and shit. I got like two of them, you know. I was in my getting three more myself. But now I want everybody to pay when also, I go. Right, I'm gonna say that adds to your family. You know, your wealth that mm-hmm. you want to keep. Like, don't leave your yeah. family yeah, with nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how white people do it. Yeah, that's what I was about yeah I want I want to get uh, my cremated anyway, so all that money gonna be yours, man. Mm-hmm. Donate my body to science. Huh? Mm-hmm. Why? Because, because don't waste none of the money. Who's gonna come see me in the ground? Girl, cremation is only like four hundred dollars right now. Pounds. That's what right I'm saying. Now. Girl, I will burn you up in the fire. Throw ass, throw ass, nigga. Throw ass in it. Start that shit up. They go coming out like that was fucking. She was saying that shit because she started smelling that dead body, nigga. Then she stank. That shit is horrible. Rick and Morris said it. Fuck that. I'd rather pay for the funeral. Said it. No, no, no. Fuck that, man. Look, listen. This shit is nah, man, burn, burn my ass up and put me in the ground. I don't want to be in the ground and shit. Maggot food. I don't want that. That shit sounds terrible, man. I don't, I don't want nobody to set my body on fire. I said, well, that. I, honestly, I said, you know, okay, fine. We're ready to get here. Who's to say I'm staying here? Because, like, for, like, my grandmother, she didn't want to be buried in Jamaica. She said nobody would visit her. <laughs> nobody would I would fly down and see grandma. But I'm just saying, when I thought about it, I'm just like, but how many people move out of state from where their parents are, you know, actually buried with their family members in the house and you actually solely go back, like, right. I want to go to the city. 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 A, a mm-hmm. better question is how often niggas go see their parents when they in the same okay. state? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that niggas, is awesome niggas be buried for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> and you right down the street, it's across awesome. from the cemetery, nigga. Awesome question. Awesome yeah, question. I forgot it. Look, listen. My fa- my father's not buried. He's not buried too far from here and shit. I don't yeah. ever. I don't go no fucking grave and go. I haven't been, been, been in my listen. grandfather's grave. I thought about it quite a few times. I've been back my I'm uncle and yeah, man. Like, listen, have y'all thought about like love. paying for y'all funeral ahead time? I did. Cause Not in my thirties, I won't do it. But you know, so, I get a little closer to. to, to so basically, <laughs> buying family plots. So yeah. like, um, my grandmother passed. My aunt just bought the plot now. Mm. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Uh, I don't plan on going in the ground, but I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I understand what you're or saying. Or don't necessarily got to be you. You uh, a coliseum? You can just have it for whoever the next person. Yeah, yeah no damn coliseum. That's a mausoleum. <laughs> you know, I want a, I want a coliseum. He don't know. Just let him ride. With All him. right, I want a coliseum. <laughs> That's how big it's gonna be. For a coliseum. <laughs> it's a fucking mausoleum, man. <laughs> yeah, you get a coliseum, nigga. That nigga say he won't be buried next to Caesar. Exactly. That nigga will get a stadium. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much. That's the only way I won't be buried if I'm a good, But that shit is expensive. A yeah. mausoleum, them shits is expensive. I'd rather you take that money and motherfucking go to live on Sunday after I die and then, then you know, splurge and I'm in there with you so in spirit. Turn up. Like, turn the fuck up with that money, nigga. Do y'all have the take conversations with y'all parents? About, about what? About like, you know, oh, hell no. I told my mother, shut the hell up. I was like, I ain't doing this shit with you, man. I did that shit with my mother once after my father had passed away. And after that, I was like, I ain't never again. I've done that shit like one time. Like, I understood. Time. No, it took one time. I just needed to know. Right, that's what you want me to do. Cool. Let's not talk about it anymore. Let's move on. I mean, it's a real conversation. It is. I don't know. Like, with my mother and. 
she has a chronic illness, so it's a conversation that I feel like happens every so often. Yeah. We just had a conversation. She was like, okay, well, you know, she's going to update her mental health. Uh-huh. Like, what? Like, <clears throat> I don't know. I just like. Have you? What, had the conversation? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had a conversation with one of my friends. Mm-hmm. It's good to know, though, bro. Like, I. Like, like he said, he was like, yeah, he like he haven't done it like now in his thirties, you know what I mean? But honestly, there's no guarantee you gonna go meet your forties either. So no, it ain't. Um, that's but everybody, that's everybody serious, knows right? they need to know. Like, hey man, put the, you know, put that, bring that nigga up, man, and spread that nigga ashes somewhere. Bring that nigga up. I feel like well, that's, that's fucked up. It's gonna be a whole bunch of other niggas' ashes in there. Which one? You this know nigga, that, right? Man. Like, I can't. Burn everybody. I, I'm, not here. Like, I'm in the sky, nigga. You gonna be inside the little, the little, <laughs> the little, the little, the little joint, the little vase and yeah, shit. It's gonna be me. It's gonna be burning. Tom, like, hey, I'm yeah, here. Yeah, hey, yeah, Chris, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, here too. Just make sure your cock don't touch my Tom. Two months later, gone. Like, what the fuck's going on? It's that shit, man. That shit was a mess. Nigga had money though, but he's just like, he didn't have like all oh, yeah. shit in order. Yeah, okay. we got to find that shit, got to figure shit out or whatever. That shit was terrible, man. Oh my god. <laughs> but again, he, he wasn't thinking I'm about to cash the fuck out like right away or whatever. Even no one ever does, really. Yeah, like, I was like, yeah, that shit's crazy. Man. Just not guaranteed for you. Yeah, what you said, man, you got to have that shit in order, man. Yeah. Got to have that shit in order. Don't I put know, no stress on nobody. Sometimes niggas don't want to. And that our parents are getting older and the people mm-hmm. around us are getting older. Like, I feel like one day you kind of wake up and you be like, why you can't remember nothing? Or did I just tell you? Or how many times you want to ask me? I think what made me really start to have the conversation was when I had my son. And then, you know, how like all of a sudden you start getting up. Well, oh, you start getting all the calls with like, do you like insurance? And you're looking at me like, oh, I do like insurance now, huh? Yeah, so, so yeah, I guess I do need it. <laughs> they just be looking around like, well, shit. Y'all got policies? <laughs> yeah. Like, you got this? What you got? Who you with? Like, what's, what's, what's your information? Where it's at? Like, uh-huh. in case anything happens. Yeah. Especially, like, if your parent got ever had <clears throat> surgery or whatever, they get put under you to know where all of that shit is at. That's true. Yeah. You know, I, I think if I pass with my mother, I don't know. Your father don't even know all this stuff about, but I know who he, who he go through because that's who um, I got his policy with for death Bro. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, man, get away from this morbid shit. Yeah, it's not morbid. It's real life. It, it is really real life, but I don't want to talk about it. You talk <laughs> well, about speaking the of morbid, dying and shit. the airlines can start weighing passengers at the airport. You said weighing them. Yeah, yes. man, I, I agree with that. I think you should be able to, uh, to weigh because them because the United States is increasing in its obesity rate. <laughs> um, you know, they need to make sure that the plane uh, has an even weight distribution. Yeah, you don't want to fuck that's you, fucking you, you don't want to go down and shit, man. Look, no, no, I get it. No, I get it. I get it. No, I'm, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying it's I'm not saying it's not a uh, a good idea. I'm just like they wasn't doing this like already. They should have no, been, they should've been no. doing like, this. Where shit. where did we get to it at that point when they're like, let's start weighing motherfuckers? Right. We're getting too fucking fat. Like, are we at that level now? And I like, feel like they should have been so like. They, they probably started knowing, like, the, probably the pilots or maybe whoever was gonna start to complain, like, yo, this shit is. Yo, this, 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 this plane is uneven. <laughs> Somebody bags gotta get left. That's why, nigga, the bags don't make it to that fucking. <laughs> yeah, it was because they, yeah, they don't let you know. That ain't let you know. Look, look, nigga. Listen, I think before you even buy an airplane ticket, I feel like they should have some shit because it'd be niggas be big as shit. They'd be trying to sell niggas you on a fucking yo, airplane. Yo, word. Shit. It'd be niggas you're to get up to buy two seats. tickets. You're supposed to buy two tickets, and them niggas be trying to get away. <laughs> you know, this one. You knew it was 3.30 yeah, when you got on this fucking plane. I have man. your ass chick on somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Just sitting there in the middle row. Like, oh, like, what are we doing, baby? Oh, fuck. That's this big nigga off me, man. Big nigga just like this. be like that. That's how the nigga was sleeping and shit. They should do how they do at the um, amusement park with the roller coaster. Got that chair to the side, so if you look like you got to sit in it. Excuse me, sir. Please step to the side. No, no, no. Get get your big ass over there real quick. We need to try. Yeah, Yeah, get your big ass over here. You have to wait for the freight plane, okay? Sit to the side. I'm so beautiful. Don't worry, it's a FedEx freight plane. Don't worry, right? Right. Get your fat 
that ass be right over there. All don't worry. sorts of seatbelts for <laughs> yeah. your ass. We got you, buddy. Don't worry. So you get your fast over here real quick. <laughs> so, so look at the, the wing of the people. So are they going to be like, all right, we got like two, Yo. 300 plus people sit on this side. We got to put two on this side. Like, how does that, that, that work? You, did, you have to balance that shit no, up. No, no, yeah. I, I understand that. But like certain certain airlines, you have assigned seats. So if this you didn't know this motherfucker was... Three hundred plus. I think that's why they're going to start weighing them. Like, what? Well, like, what row this nigga sit in? Yeah. So it's like, hey, make your big ass over here. Like, they don't have like an assigned if like. You over the if you yeah. over the weight that you put in. I don't think they're going to let you fly. You, oh, you got to put in the weight you now. Get, you get. You, you need to sit with after after everybody seated. Yeah, yeah. after everybody seated. Y'all, y'all, y'all didn't say that I had to so enter. No, I'm saying. Say no, no, no. I'm saying in my mind, this is how it's going. to Because if that's the case, then that means no one can buy a ticket unless you physically go to the airport and stand on the scale. Facts. That doesn't make sense. So, that doesn't make sense at all. Mm-hmm. It's gonna. Right. So as of right now, they you know this is a possibility. Mm. Um, they're thinking about requiring people just to take a um to be required to take a survey. I guess. That's what I was saying. You should like you, you should, should know before you buy the ticket. Like when you buy the ticket, like yeah, because you need to make it Like bitches with their licenses, because I know damn well. One like shit, you ain't no one one sixty. What you mean one sixty since high school? What fuck? Bitch, I need you not to lie because you don't want to drop out the fucking. That's what I'm saying. I ain't trying to die because you motherfucking fucking you forty fucking pounds. God damn you, biggest shit. You lying? Just buy the second seat, sir. Right. These niggas be big as shit. They be lying, man. man. So they should, they should have a sign like seats for like heavy set people, though. Man, like, airplanes ain't built like that unless you get uh, the bigger joints. Them niggas them. only getting two seats. You got to give them the seat next no, to the window with the I exit. Think they see that. <laughs> you know how they, like, Those two seats. You know how they got the seat right there. Like, right. Like, right. Space, like, 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 like a wheelchair or something yeah. like that. Yeah, I mean, I'd be the big man. So but you know how many seat. people wouldn't be like, you know, because we, I think we're underestimating how obese the yeah. US really Yo, yo, is. that's what they say. We're like, at this point now. America like, thinks a motherfucker, man. Like, yo, yeah. Yeah. niggas be big as shit, bro. I'm not that big. Can so. you imagine the fights that would occur at the airport? Nigga, just, what? I can't get on the plane. Nah, I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> Fuck man, you, you fat ass, yo. You hold me up, yo. You said you was 150. <laughs> <laughs> Saying, one of these big niggas put their hands on somebody's gonna be a problem. Yeah, nigga, good nigga ain't gonna be able to fly no more, man. You can't fucking fight in the airport, man. That's federal offense. Mm-hmm. Fight in the airport like a motherfucker. And them niggas can't fly no more. <laughs> I don't know if they got caught. And so, in our states, I'm only passengers. Uh huh. There you go. Oh, mm-hmm. oh my god. Mm-hmm. Sir. <laughs> Imagine you gotta be the motherfucker to tell somebody they're too fat to fly. Yo, imagine a nigga over the plane because the nigga too big, yo, and he can't get out. <laughs> you got it. She said. That's what I'm saying. What the, if you're if you're obese, you're supposed to buy two seats. They tell you that. But these things be buying one, and then when they get to the airport, motherfucking stewardess and shit, they be looking at you like, fuck. <laughs> Are you and kidding? now you sitting in, in between a nigga, and you uncomfortable other nigga. Look. Other nigga, I just seen a nigga get up and like, yo, this nigga big as shit next to me, man. You got no free seats. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm uncomfortable, man. Yo, I would. Oh my god. I, got up. I said, hey man, this nigga big as shit, man. It ain't gonna work, bro. Nigga, tell yeah, it's, crazy. it's like, yeah, well, you can come to first class. Yeah, I'm look at him, grab my bag, you big bitch. Nigga, big I'm going to be uncomfortable on a plane anyway, because my legs is long. They be getting all cranked up. Like, you need legs is long where? Them legs is long where? My legs is long where? My legs is so long. Them legs is long where? Your legs long where? My knees is long where? Your legs long where? My knees is long Yeah. <laughs> you better, you better <laughs> <laughs> you better emergency exit. Hey, yo. 
I'm telling you, man. Those oh, airplane, airplane, airplane uh, joints do be Way tight. Way these though. niggas. Fuck I think it. the closer you go to the back, the tighter it gets and shit. You're like, God damn. Stewardess, I mean, tell this nigga to move up. I be getting at the bridge next, like, oh, you niggas fucked up. Man, I'm sure. Always. I like to be in the middle. I like, I like, I like to be in the middle. Talk to Why? me. Oh, yeah, oh, I thought you said oh, yeah, like yeah, middle yeah. seat. No, I like to be in the middle. That's, I, I do the same middle yeah. seat. Yeah. Yeah. I like to be in the front. I do the same thing. First class off this motherfucker, man. Unless I'm flying mm-hmm. uh, Southwest. Then I'm like, it don't matter. Yeah. No, I see, I got an American credit card and shit, right? You get the points, baby. Get the points. Yeah, Yeah, get the points, baby. Let me get the points. First class all day, damn, damn. That's what the American or whatever. Mm-hmm. But more times, nine times out of ten, it's gonna be Southwest for that shit cheap. Yeah. That shit ain't that cheap anymore though. Flights went back the fuck up. It ain't the pandemic no more, even though it is. Right, flights exactly. Was, flights are expensive as shit now. Gas high, prices high, rental cars high. It's all high. That's because it's a shortage. Because everybody driving instead of flying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you get to control what the fuck. Uh, no fucking germs and shit, man. You know what the fuck going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You just step on what you was about to say. Go ahead, I was ahead, just going to say, since we're talking about traps and stuff, um, <sighs> most of the popular Mexican tourist destinations, they might be going into a lockdown since COVID. Uh, Ramp it down there. Has, it has seen five weeks of increases in cases. All, mm-hmm. all the sick niggas from the United States keep going there. Go where? Fucking Mexico. Oh, shit. See. They want to be talking about you and that way, damn it. Bugging the fuck out. Look, listen, what happened here in the United States is people stopped getting tested. It ain't the mm-hmm. fucking cases that went down. People stopped getting tested. <clears throat> and then you do have uh, a good portion of people that did get vaccinated. But the, the problem is, oh, the, t- the cases are going down. No, lady, niggas ain't getting tested no more. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, all the vax people, it's like, shit, I don't need to get tested no more. Which is stupid because if you fucking vaccinated, you can still get a nigga sick. Yep. Yeah, oh, honestly, it gets yeah. like I think like right when they get vaccinated, I think just, just like, like the a fucking window. flu shot. You get the flu shot, you still get you still can get sick, and you can get a nigga sick. Yeah, um, that's not what everybody else. No, I think that's that not how it works because it's not technically. Niggas are stupid. That's why they think <laughs> it's not technically. <laughs> what? What's not technically? I don't, I don't think you can get somebody sick once you. Yes, you can. If you got, if you got, <clears> you can get somebody sick. He's not saying you can get somebody sick because you got the shot. They said you can get somebody sick if you got COVID after getting the shot. Yeah. Yeah, if you if you get vaccinated and you end up getting COVID, you can still pass yeah. that shit along. Yeah. yeah. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> um other things, uh it was released that um high levels of forever chemicals were found in American <clears throat> women's breast milk. What? What? So some people feel like it's just an attack on breastfeeding. What is the high level of what was found in breast milk? So, um, forever chemicals. Like, they don't leave your body. Forever? Oh, I thought you were saying, oh, listen, who has chemical? Forever. Yeah, forever chemical. Yeah, forever chemical. Oh, my God. Like, damn, that shit's better than bleach. <laughs> <laughs> They'll clean that shit forever. <laughs> That's what it sounds forever like. Forever chemicals. Yeah. So, it says PFAs are human made chemicals found in everyday items we use as humans mm. that can potentially cause. Cause adverse health impacts, including liver damage, thyroid disease, decreased infertility, and more. They are referred to as forever chemicals because they don't naturally break down in the human body and sometimes grow within the human body. That fucking sucks. So it says there were 50 samples of mother's breast milk used in a study, and the study came out to show PFA levels in American women's breast milk are nearly 2,000 times higher mm. than what health advocates would determine is safe for drinking water. God damn. So it says our culture is your body, man. Because of the high levels of harm mm-hmm. to the newborn. So do they do they even give any type of information on what can cause the breast milk? Uh, I don't know. Could it be that high? It'll be out here uh, eating noodles and noodles yes. and shit. In the hood. You know, I guess like whatever. Couple you, noodles you put into your body. <laughs> So like, yeah, some cover news though. So like you think about it, like your lotion, everybody don't pay much attention to yeah, lotion. Yeah, yeah. Right. Women Clean. if they wearing Cleaning pads, the you Cleaning don't pay much attention to that's mm-hmm. in ta- that's in pads and tampons, mm-hmm. and feminine wash, feminine wipes, all that shit that we use on a regular basis. Dove, Dove, Dove ain't good for y'all. Well, you can't just say that and stop. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Oh. Yeah. 
So I had to go. Nigga, that ain't fucking <laughs> talking about it. That ain't good for y'all. Keep going, nigga. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That I'm, 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 I'm fucking around. Fuck I really don't know. Shit. I don't know. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but no, yeah. seriously, yeah. though, yeah. you, yeah. Never, yeah. Know, yeah. you yeah. never know, you know? Yeah. You never know, bro. No, fuck you, Des, because I, look, I use those. Yeah. So now, now I'm curious, like, nigga, what the yeah. fuck? I'm Ivy Spring. What you mean? It's Ivy Spring. Ivy Spring. No, you that shit. That shit dries them all up. Fucking skin be tight as a bitch. That's because it's working, nigga. That leather face. But you got like cheap food. Cup of noodles. You clean your bathroom and all that type of shit too, though. Right, that's 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 so you gonna die, nigga. You getting the nails tomorrow? Getting our nails and shit. Breathing like, it all back, motherfucker. Fucking y'all up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Shit seeping all in y'all nails and shit. Yeah, I can't even go get a petty. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Fuck you. You can't have vegan nails, homie. Who are you? They do vegan nail. I'm Wait, so like normal nail like nail polish is like they use everything. Someone thinks they say is that I think the. Big skin. Shit, this shit got work done to you. Niggas, they put big skin on the nails, nigga. Oh shit! This ain't nothing but some full grinds. No shit, you got fucking pork products in it. That's wild as shit. Oh shit! Oh man, yo, take care of yourselves out there, ladies. Yeah, man. So I eat those couple noodles. How much time we got though? Fucking hormones and shit. Yeah, we, we probably should wrap this shit up soon, honestly. Alright, so can we just talk about something before we wrap up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting And, and you guys listen to J. Cole now? Definitely. Old hour. <laughs> you just jump right to it and shit. Yeah, because we're, okay. we're, we're about to hit the uh, limit. Mm -hmm. Um. I, say anybody I gave it a listen to, man. Uh, I think I like it. Uh, I think I listened to only two songs, though. What the fuck? Like Alright, we're going to come back to you. Okay, good. <laughs> I I only, I only <laughs> to it myself. Someone just played the um, songs they felt like were the best, and then kind of like went through the album. Okay. Uh, Curious, it's, it's not that many. Uh, I listen. What did you say? I'll take that. Um, I liked it. Uh, do I have favorites? I do have favorites, but I said the only thing that go my hand is something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, when he was talking about. Mm, that's not that song. You know. Oh, it's, it's, it's a chorus, not like not. I only got one side to listen. I ain't get. I ain't get. <laughs> I listened to that shit about ten times. Yeah, I ain't get. I ain't get a repeat yet. They had favorites yeah. and stuff. Yeah, not a repeat. But definitely but I, not favorites. But I pull, pull it up on your phone. But I love the album. Um, I got favorites. I love oh, this album. Strong, and right? I think, yeah, because, I think this is his best album. Because oh wow, um, I think this is the best album. Okay, if not the second best, but it's it's the top two though. Yeah, definitely. okay. Okay. I think uh, between that it, my head. That's what if, if you go with if you go with uh, this or four, so that's what I'm saying. Between yeah, yeah, okay. But for me, uh, you guys know my argument. I don't want the fuck going on. Yo, that shit. <laughs> oh, what a day! That shit doing some uh, motherfucker. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That shit was doing the motherfucking uh, Erica Badu uh, beat and shit. Oh, what a day! What a day! What a day! Oh, shit, that worked. That's what I worked. Look at you and shit. So, what you want to play? Uh, can we can we do this like this? What you want to do? Yeah, we got, um, we I knew we had to stop. stop. Well, we can, yeah, but I'm about to stop if we do that. What you mean? Stop, I want you to stop. Like, no, that's cool. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool. Though. It's a really quick, really quick stop. And then when I want to do this, let me just duplicate this. Because I didn't create a channel for that guy. Oh, shit. What I no, 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 no. I already stopped it. Like, might as well do it now. Oh, all right. So we can know for later. All right, cool. Oh, yeah. Hey, man, cut that shit off. Which one? Right. I'm sorry. Oh, no. All right, right play it, oh, Calvin. Yeah. Play, play it. Play it. So, yeah. I'm trying to find this guy. One, three. Oh shit. Ooh. Y'all hear that shit over there? Ooh. Suki, you ain't got your goddamn ear pods in. I said ear pods. These are, these are not ear pods. <laughs> so, I don't know if we're recording right now. Not yet, no. Oh, alright, cool. Well, we're not recording. Not, not yet, not yet. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Get rid of that shit. I just wanted to hit. I want that back. Yeah, you got that. Where that come in? Yeah. <laughs> all right, run that shit back. That's good because I can fight on level. We're going to fight on level. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. One, two, three. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And we're back. Bump right, right there and shit. Together, so uh, we got it together and shit real quick, right? All right. So track one. So track right. one, 95 self, right? So you know why they call it 95 self? Or why it's called 95 self? Uh, Hold up, stop. Control. Stop. Stop. Oh, shit. Hammer time. It's a hammer time. The rest is on. No, Mike can't touch this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I told go King Big, go boy. King Big, go King Big. Well, all right, wait, here we go. One, two, three. And we're back. And we're back. Again. Again. And all, right. all again and again. Get and again. <laughs> you can, right. can, can you go? Yeah, can go. go. All, all right. right, so J. Cole joint, first song. First song, 95 South. So you go from Harlem to, uh, to North Carolina to and then Georgia. Interstate 95. Yeah, because South. you know it ends with uh, um, a fucking uh, Lil John and shit. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. But um, go, ahead, go ahead and play that shit, white boy. <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> you muted my shit. Niggas, like, fuck that. We don't want to hear that shit on this fucking podcast, nigga. Yeah, no bullshit. Oh, man. Oh, no, I got you. <laughs> no, not, wait, run that shit back. Yeah, technically. <laughs> I was trying to figure something out. I was trying to figure something out of it. All right, run it back, run it back, run it back. All right, run it back, run it back, run it back. All right, you got to let me know when I really... Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, run that shit back, run it. Run that shit back. We okay. out here. Yeah. Yeah. The lustrous sounds of the Norseman podcast, nigga. Oh. <laughs> fuck was that? Yeah, I don't That's know big. What that was? Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Yeah, you know I'm saying this is '95 selfish shit. When I first heard Cam come on, I was like, "Whoa, wait a minute!" I go, "What the fuck, I Cam?" Oh, this nigga, this is okay. Man, this is the and, best. This is the best beat. Like I said, when CDs was around, hey, you fucking clowns did a measly hundred thou. Woo! Oh, he was being greasy on that. Oh, what? Like <laughs> <laughs> a pound. Oh. Brown. You Luigi's brother now. Uh. This, nigga, uh. this nigga went off on this joint. You said put an M on your head. You, you Luigi's Luigi brother now. Y'all oh. uh, put Cam on here. I ain't gonna lie. That was kind of, uh, that was dope. Uh. They put Cam on there. <laughs> Wait a minute, pause that. Nigga said there's so many shells on the ground to make the Easter Bunny proud. Right. <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay. Okay, okay all right. I ain't gonna lie, he went on this shit. This yeah, shit that, that, that 95 yeah. self, that's how you fucking start an album, man. Yes. That's how you start an album, man. So you said you only listened to it once? Yeah, so like, I listened to it my cousin. My cousin, uh, my cousin uh, is a J. Cole fan. So mm -hmm. yeah, I had this conversation all the time. I'm like, bro, I'm like, he's not one of my favorite artists, but J. Cole was mad nice. Mm -hmm. I said, my problem with J. Cole was when the fucking producer's albums. No, I'm glad he didn't do that shit with this one. He only got he had record, he know, had so. other producers work on this yeah. album, and this shit was amazing. Boy, wanted did the first beat and shit. You got what? You I thought he. I, I actually thought he. Um, I thought he might have produced that one right there. Uh -huh. Boy, yeah, boy, wanted did, yeah, boy wanted did that. I was one like, "Fuck, is Jay Cokey really good?" That's probably. Beats? I wanted to say that's my my favorite joint. Okay. But he got a joint with uh, twenty one. Is one of my twenty one Savage and the, and the new kid uh, Moray. That shit hard too. That shit. Hard, nigga. Yeah, that's the, that's number three. Yeah, that's that's my shit right there, nigga. Maury killed that fucking chorus. My life was all I had. My run, my and my had. <laughs> why you like that? That's why you like that? That's how that's how that's how the nigga sing this shit. That's the nigga that got this song. Come to the quick stand, come to the quick band, come to the quick band. This nigga had time with the kickstand. Yeah, that shit. That's my shit right there. Oh, this fat nigga singing. In a quick time. I'm surprised you didn't 
jump straight to number seven. What was number seven? Oh, little baby. Oh, little baby and shit. Yeah. That shit go. That shit goes. Yeah, that that mad little nigga. Man, I'm trying to tell you, little baby, man. <laughs> everything he uh, he fucking touches, uh, that nigga's King Midas. I've been telling you guys that for the longest time. That nigga's on the road nigga, right nigga, now. Nigga, this bro, this like, whole album is uh is fucking fire. And it's actually honestly, I have about four or five songs. I just haven't had the time to sit down and give it the listen. I like to yeah, give I did, it. I gave it a good. Oh, uh, I said I just had to sit down. Yeah. That man, and my cousin was going around. He sat in his car and listened to that one. I did, Chris. That's a great driving. Yeah, that's great like, driving that's album. That's I listen to. Yeah. yeah driving. We sat in the car and to it. He was like, what you think? I'm like, nigga, this shit is amazing. I said, this might be the best album. Yeah. I was like, I was like, you got some good speakers, nigga? That shit be jumping. And then I listened to it in the gym again. I'm like, okay. I listened to the album about 10 times this, uh, this weekend. That's how I knew it was good. Because most yeah. albums, I give it like one <clears> listen. I'm like, okay. Oh, nah, yeah, I'm definitely about to, I'm about to get it in, though. Yeah. I'll bring that shit this Friday, man. Great, great. While well, I'm cleaning up. I mean, it's, a, it's probably a good cleanup album. It's, it sound like you. I think it's an album you can listen to anywhere, but in the car it just sounds way better. In the, out, in the car, girl, that shit sounds amazing. It sounds better in the car. What? Man, okay. that shit sounds amazing. Yeah, in the car, that shit sound like, oh, man, I don't ever want to turn this up. Yeah, that shit is amazing. Don't say that. I don't man. think nothing ever sounds like that. Yeah, this production is fucking crazy. How that shit with Lil Baby start? Play that one. This shit, the production on here is fucking Play that one. ridiculous. Yo. This nigga make me wanna like I'm not gonna lie, I should make someone make a beat like oh, it makes shit. me wanna make a beat. You, you, you heard that shit, you was like, okay, all right. I'm gonna lie, I was just told I was like, nigga, I'm about to freestyle over this bitch. Oh okay. yeah, this shit is hard. Uh Norse Podcast. Uh you know, and I gotta give it to little baby, like when he like body shit, he don't he never switches his style up. He does it in his own way, you know. Yeah. I love that. He does switch his style up, but he just does it in his own way. He doesn't compromise. He doesn't compromise. He, don't compromise, yeah. he never does. He yeah. don't try to fit in with what's going on. He no. just do what he feels like he want to do. Cause I was wondering, like, how the fuck would he sound on this shit? You know what I mean? Cause it sounds like J Cole. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I said we can get to that part. Shit, I can't tell when it's his part. <laughs> Wait, as soon, as soon as you go past the chorus, you just went past the chorus. I did. Go back. Destroy. This whole <laughs> shit, <yeah. laughs> I love that line, man. That's my favorite fucking line. Pride of the devil, pride of the devil, pride of the devil. Baby, mama, you get past all shit. that shit. Oh, they did that's what little baby started rapping. That nigga going off right now, but little baby, uh. That's why I was trying, I was trying not to cut him off. He about to come up and shit. Ah! Uh, it's my fucking Austria podcast, man. It will not be destroyed. That chord is long as a bitch. Ain't it is. The, court, the hook long as yeah. shit. Because he, he also got the... Uh, the he probably like the last 40 seconds or yeah. something. Stop it. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that was little baby going off. So yeah, guys, check out the uh, sixteen bars, nigga. Check out the Cole album. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Check uh, out the check Cole. out that J. Cole album, uh, uh the, off the off season and shit. Then my man he went and uh debuted in the fucking African League over there and yeah, shit. Now uh, uh, Raqu- uh, uh Rwanda. Uh Rwanda. <laughs> Rwanda and shit. Oh, J. Cole. J. Cole, yeah. yeah. He played in the African League? Yeah. yeah Seventeen good. minutes, man. Got three uh what, three points? Three points, three assists. Three assists. Three assists. It was, yeah, three points, three assists, three rebounds, or some shit like that. Yeah, Kendrick Perkins Hollow, they putting up Perkins. Yeah, he's putting up big Perkins numbers. <laughs> I see you all day, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, the NBA shit. player named Kendrick Perkins funny as shit. That nigga was like, yo, I'm out here learning plays and shit, man. I'm tired. That's what J. Cole was like, yo, I, I'm fucking learning plays or whatever. So, yeah, man, that nigga, that, that's an album rollout for your ass right there, nigga. Yeah, Go play in a goddamn uh, fucking African league or whatever. Look at all these dreams and shit, man. Shout out to J. Cole. You wanna give it another listen? Yeah. Good, good, good. Any other music came out lately? 
Migos got a new album coming out. Oh, Culture Nikki, 3. Nikki re put oh. out that um, album again. She put out yeah. the, uh, the mixtape, Scott, Beat Me Up, Scotty. She put out like, Apple or something? Yeah, it's on all the streaming platforms now. She got the, the joints cleared or whatever because you know she's rapping with all the people. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just garbage. Oh, shit. All right, I'm not going to And it's one new song on there, right? It's three. Oh, it's I thought it was three new songs with Wayne one. and Drake or some shit. Yeah, that shit hard. Oh, uh, if you, mm-hmm. like, uh, it's three of them. Oh. I forgot the other, the other two or whatever, but I just know I listened to the first one. I was like, garbage. Lil Wayne went off on that shit. I was going to say, it sounded like a little bit of old Wayne. Yeah, yeah, Grissy, he went off mm-hmm. on that shit. And I thought it was old, but you mentioned the fucking pandemic. You mentioned uh, some other shit or whatever. So he might be a future talk. They just add that shit in there. <laughs> nah, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne is, uh, and uh, Nicki Minaj and Drake, they, they uh, all three of them went off. Good track. Good track, man. Good for her. And then, um, it should make me feel nostalgic when I heard uh, her with um, G Herbo on the uh, the Shy Rag joint. Mm. Boom, 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 oh, they back to that? Yeah, that's you know, G Herbo song. Oh, is that the shit with G Cam on? When they had uh, uh, they freestyled over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's G Cam. Yeah, because uh, the, like uh, the song is G Herbo's song or whatever. I shit. ain't G Herbo. Yeah, it's his crazy. song and shit. And they but if you don't that, go, uh, man, you know. I just heard everybody from Chicago rapping yeah. for shit. Boom, 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 <laughs> boom, 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 boom. That was like when he first came out. Shit. Right. 2009, my nigga. Mm. So, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, shout so, out to Nicki Minaj. Minaj. Shout out to Nicki Minaj. You said Not really. he, he didn't like it. He didn't like it. That's fine. Um, <laughs> any, 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 anything else come out? Um, Justin EP. This is like 21 Savage. 21, 21, 21, 21. I need to see. I need to see. Uh, Kodak Black. I need to see Sparrow. Well, Sparrow. Black, what, what's the fucking name of that movie? Yeah, like yeah one good movie. song. Yeah, it's one good song. I mean, it's eight songs, but you know they'll call it an album. So I don't yeah. know. anybody see that movie with uh with Chris Rock and um and um? I did not. I saw that book. I saw the movie. Show. Yeah, it came out. It came out this past Friday. It said oh. Saw. It's, it's like yeah. it's not Saw, but it's it's kind it's of a part of the, it's part of the Saw book yeah, it's, or whatever. It's a, it's a book. With Chris Rock, oh, Spiral. Yeah. Chris Rock and um, Samuel Jackson. And um, I forgot who else was in the movie. Watching that shit tonight. I want, I want to watch that shit. Oh, Good so night. We got to talk about um, Yasuke. Who the fuck? Who? The, the Japanese, uh, the black. I thought we talked. We, we talked about, about that. I thought we talked about that. that. We did. No, they all didn't speak about it. Well, you know, if we got no more time to talk about it anyway, so. Yeah. Uh, I'm bad. sorry. <laughs> oh, we, had, we had to start with that next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we ran out of time. He said, that's fine. I got no time to talk about that shit anyway. So, oh, here yeah. we go. So, <laughs> hey, 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 I guess we'll, we'll start off with it next week. Next week How about yeah, that, yeah, huh? How about right. that guy? We're going to start on all the shows. We got fucked up last week anyway. Yeah. 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 yeah it's no one's oh, that's fault. That's why we didn't talk about it. It's no one's fault. Oh, yeah. Nah, well, fuck fuck the, uh, no, 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 no. It's not your fault. It's not your fault, no, man. No, you gotta get um, light shit in watch, uh, watch the Falcon and the Winter Soldier so we can talk about that, too. Because we don't think I watched that. I'm never going to watch it so we can definitely talk about it. Oh, why not? It was good. Anthony Mackie. Just watch the shit. I fuck with Anthony Mackie. He's a bad actor. No, 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 no. He did good in this. Anthony Mackie is not a bad actor. He just overacts. That's the problem. He doesn't like it's just. Okay. He doesn't just let the shit be natural or whatever. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and that motherfucker. Exactly. Listen, listen. Maybe you should stop doing that too. And and the niggas. Is, and we got to talk about uh, without remorse. Yes. We didn't talk about that yet. We didn't talk about that. No, the we did. Enjoyed. But the mic got cut off. It's already out. Yeah. Dude, that shit came out. The last day of April, man. I didn't. I didn't see that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't say yeah. I gotta watch this. So that watch shit. Oh, so we can talk about. We can, we can do. We can do our movie critics. Shit. Because, because because Michael B. Jordan is not a face actor anymore. I take it back now. I, I do. Yes, uh, it's on. It's on. It sounds video. familiar. You would like it. It's one of them like fantasy. I'll check it out. Check it out. Fantasies. All right. But it's on. HBO. We want to talk about it's all HBO movies and shows and shit. Go. That's, HBO that's HBO what that shit will be called HBO. next week and shit. HBO, HBO Go is not a thing anymore. HBO Go is not a movie. This is just HBO Max now. I know. I was gonna say HBO Go is not a thing anymore. I got six. I'm gonna go home and watch that Angelina Jolie movie too. That's on HBO Max. It's on HBO Max. It's on the Fast Friday. You say you want to see Cool Running? Well, this nigga, yeah. Oh, I thought she said cool runners, but you got hey, hey, cool you know? running. I, I don't fucking know. Well, 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 it's because she's Jamaican. Right, well, no, I mean, I oh, that's right. fucked up. Yeah, yeah, that's Jamaican. Right. I'm sorry. Nah, nah you don't know. Nah, you don't know. 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 You
Yeah, yeah. So we want rap. Oh, oh so. then I'm like, close to the camera. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No, finish it. What's the guy um, from um, G.I. Joe? He come with Snake eyes. Yeah. They about to drop Snake eyes. Nigga, Snake eyes look hard, too. Well, wait a minute. Under Disney? Is it a cartoon? No. no. Ooh, Ooh, nigga. Under what? Disney? HBO? Uh, I don't know. Well, I think that's theaters. But they gave, they gave him a spinoff? No, they gave him his own joint. Like, because those two yeah, uh, fucking G.I. Joe movies was ass. I think the first one was okay. The second one was okay. The second one was okay. With the rock. Oh, how the fuck oh. you don't give Snake Eyes his own movie? Yeah, why the fuck they, they have the origin, Cobra, though? The origins of Snake Eyes. Oh, but I don't want to see that shit. I need to see that. 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 Snake Eyes was on his thing before. I haven't seen it yet. Well, Shawnee said it looked like it was filmed on the Cobra. We did talk well, about Cobra probably starts movie. from when he. Right, so I don't man, that shit. I, don't I gotta know. see this shit now. Those, those no, two movies was ass. So like this, when I was seeing the previews, I'm like, oh, they got this new ass Asian movie coming. This shit about to be hard. Especially like Snake Eyes. I said, oh shit, they fucked me up. Oh, and, and Venom is uh coming out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let there be carnage and shit. Yeah. Motherfucking uh, Woody Harrelson. Second movie carnage. The second uh Oh yeah, Woody Harrelson is gonna be in that. Yeah, that's gonna be fucking good. That's gonna be great. Like yeah, we'll talk about more movies and shit like that, man. We are gonna get up on out of here and shit. Uh, what's the name of the show? Like that. We'll talk about more movies and shit like that, man. We gonna get up on out of here and shit. Um, follow us on the Norse. What happened? You good? Oh, all right. Well, she talking. Follow us on the uh, Norseman podcast page on IG. That's uh the Norseman podcast. Uh, you can follow this guy on the Norseman page. That's on IG as well. You can follow uh, Desmond on Doctor underscore Voodoo or whatever. Don't worry, I'll spell it for you. Um, Sean, you can follow her as simply uh, what is it? Simply Juice, some shit like this. Simply Sean. Shut up. Simply, uh, <laughs> simply Shut up. So, uh, uh, it's some numbers. Uh, you can follow me as well. Uh, the All Joe Jory thing or whatever. Um, email the North Podcast at gmail dot com and shit. That's uh, the North Podcast at gmail dot com. This is North Podcast. Thank you for listening. God bless. Good night, Desmond. Please fade it. Bitch, where's my money? <laughs> <laughs>